disagreeing whether they should be, they should allow something to be written. Does the Quran say obey the Allah, obey the messenger? Yes. So why would they disagree on a command from the messenger? Well, they would ask questions, and they was they wanted him to rest as well. Yeah, but again, the Quran says clearly from Allah, obey Allah, obey the messenger. Yeah. So if he says to them, bring me something to write, he's either telling the truth because you said he can't, he can only tell the truth or, be, or he was deceived. In that moment, if he's telling the truth, yeah, no, who are they that. when they, there's a clear Quran verse that says they have to obey his command? They disagree that he didn't even write anything. So I'm asking you, one, what were they disagreeing about and why did they disagree? Okay, so no, they didn't, they didn't disobey. First and foremost, they didn't want to stress the Prophet peace be upon him. Okay? They didn't want to stress him out, okay? Because he was already sick. But he asked them. It doesn't for a doesn't matter. Oh, this this, this here, this is not this. This is not. If, the, if, uh, yeah, but are you just, gonna let me I finish a thought? Let me finish a thought. So the prophet, uh, sorry, the companions, uh, they cared about the prophet peace be upon him. They cared about his well-being. Right. They saw him that he was very sick. They didn't want to stress him out. They understood the responsibility. This wasn't disobedience. This was care for the prophet peace be upon him. Okay, and they've questioned him before on other matters. They've asked him things. They've um, throw out throughout uh, the message that in and of itself is not disobedience however when he commanded them okay to leave him alone they left okay but what you're saying doesn't go with the text that's exactly and what it says in the text because okay because he asked for something so he asked for something me? he asked he asked for something to be written right okay so how did they so that's different to be a, to, that's different to a command so, okay but the, a command is asking some someone to do something no so no, 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 say, no 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 of course the, it is. no there is something, well look, the Prophet Sallallahu he was a human like anyone else, okay? If he asks for something, right, it's like saying, oh, you know, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu would ask other people for things. They wouldn't, and there would be examples where they wouldn't want to give it to him, okay? Because, just because he's the messenger of Allah, when, wait, it, comes wait, to, wait, when wait. it comes to the religious aspects... Let, let's roll it back. And let me get, say what. No, 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 no. Hold on a wait, second. Wait, wait. No, said, because I want to bring it back to the actual claim that you're making. You're yeah, saying he lied. I, I, I asked. Well, because now the, you're, you're no, going off on a tangent. I Hold said on. In this statement, you're going off on a tangent. Yeah, but I said in this statement, was he telling the truth or telling the lie? He was and telling the, claim, the truth. And this is the thing he said. Let me. That's why I feel like you're going off. Point. No, you're going off point. He said. He said. Bring forth for me a writing paper, and I will write I've for you this. a statement. I've which explained you, this. Yeah, but wait which you will not go astray. Yeah. Now your response is that the Sahaba were caring for him. Yes. So therefore they are reject, they, they, they've ignored that he said, I will write something for you that you will not go astray. That if he got revelation from um, Jibreel, how do they know that he was not about to receive a revelation? If he hasn't even given, had the chance to communicate what he needs to communicate. Well, he, so regardless, let me, I let you speak, so I'm just making my point. So I'm saying regardless of whether they were caring for him or not, if they understand that he received revelation, especially on his deathbed, and he's saying, I'm going to give you something which you will not go astray, the duty should be on them, especially when the Quran says, obey Allah, obey the messenger, to, even if it was, I, which I disagree, was for a scribe to write something down, they should have still brought the scribe to write down what he was about to say. That's got nothing to do with your claim. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Because your claim, you're accusing the Prophet, peace be upon him, about lying, about being able to write. Right. Everything you just said has got nothing to do with that. It does. No, so I'll because the, 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 the point here is, because you're trying to draw it from the fact that he said, I'm going to write something to you, right. which means that he's lying. The thing is, even then, let's assume that you're correct, okay? If he says that I'm going to write something for you and then he actually writes something, mm -hmm. then he's not lying about writing something. So then he wasn't illiterate? No, I'm saying if, if I took your argument for granted. Yeah, but that's okay? my point. So my, no, point, yeah, but, but my point would be, if he could write something, then the claim that he was an illiterate prophet is false. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's a hype. I'm giving you a hypothetical. I was like, even if I gave you that hypothetical and then he proceeded to write, he just told them he's going to write something. Yeah, but okay. if you said to me, no, but he someone can become able to write. No, I'm, what I'm telling you is that he was never able to write. Yeah, but and he was never able to read. Okay. Yeah, but this so this statement of that is understood by the Arabs. Right. Okay, that he was asking for uh, for something to be written. So why did the Sahaba? We go back to the point of why. Because you're making it to a different point. So that's no, why I'm, I'm not making it. I'm point. not making it. I'm addressing so the point. Me, he okay. cannot read or write. My, my so he's not lying about that. Point one is. Is that statement true or false that he could 
read or write. So if you said he could... He can't read or write. I know, I'm responding, just so you get that. No, I've, I've got your answer. So I'm saying, to elaborate on my argument, if he could write, you said... Um, so if he could write, then it would mean that the, if the Muslim claim that he was illiterate is false, and he was no. truthful. Yeah, but let me no, you're, my not, point. you're not understanding. Yeah, but, yeah, no, but, but you're mis misinterpreting no, but my point. I, yeah, but respond no. after. I know, I, I tried to refrain from cutting you off. So I'm trying to relay my point. So I'm saying my argument is this. If you say he was telling the truth, then the, he was truthful, and that would validate your, go with your point that he was truthful. But then that would also mean that Muslims would have to concede that he wasn't an illiterate prophet, because, and that's a lie. If they say he couldn't uh, write, then that claim was a lie, and then that disproves your initial presumption. Your presumption mm, okay, claim. No. Or if you're saying that in the Arabic context, that saying meant that you should bring a, be a scribe, I'm saying in the context of the Hadith, where they are disagreeing, it seems to go against what you're saying because they would have clearly understood that and brought someone to write something so they would not go astray as opposed to disagreeing and crying that you're, and then your prophet got frustrated and sent them away. No, so you missed it completely because in order, just because of the, the distress of the prophet because of his sickness, they didn't even want him to speak. They didn't even want him to speak, okay? Because of his ailment, mm -hmm. okay. So for for the writing paper to be brought forward, he would have to speak, so that it can be written down, okay. They understood this straight away because they know he cannot. So I'm going to drop the hypotheticals. You don't because you're not understanding where I'm coming I from. You. No, I'm you saying. you missed the point completely. But so I'm going to drop the hypotheticals. What your don't go with the no, no, no. Because you you no, you misunderstood what I was saying. Look, let's just drop the hypothetical and let's deal with the reality. Right. The reality is that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him never lied. Even Abu Jahl, okay? We, we've already dealt yeah, with this, I'm not going to go. Hadith as the this hadith, I've because already told you, you don't, know, you don't know what the hadith means. Yeah, because you're giving me an explanation which goes against No, it, go, it goes against your superficial reading of the hadith. No, because yes. I'm saying their actions... Okay, first of all, right, hold on right. a second. First and foremost, mm. I'll explain to you. First and foremost, you're reading the English. You're not even reading the Arabic text. Secondly, you have no knowledge of how the Arabs spoke in the 7th century okay. to be able to comment on that. Okay. Thirdly, it is well established in all Islamic literature Islamic literature that the Prophet peace be upon him um, was illiterately. But you said fifth, they were cared fifth, for him and you gave me... Yeah, they cared for him. They didn't even want him to but speak. If the Quran fifth, says obey the Prophet, obey fifth, the Messenger, that's a different point. Disagree. That's a different point. Why would they disagree? That's a different point, okay? You, we're, we're discussing the, the point of was the Prophet peace be upon him alive. Now, the fifth point is that even his staunchest enemy, Abu Jahl, and you would see that if you uh, watch the rest of the presentation. Abu Jahl, um, the night before Badr, okay, he was um, meeting with, a, with another disbeliever called Al Akhnas. And Al Akhnas said to him, Oh Abu Jahl, you know, there's no one from Quraysh here except me and you. Okay, so tell me about Muhammad. Uh, is he a truthful or is he a liar? And Abu Jahl, the strongest enemy to um, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Woe to you, for Muhammad has never told a lie. That's what he said to him. And on the day of Badr, he, Abu Jahl has shouted out across the, across the battlefield and he said, Oh Muhammad, we do not consider you a liar. Abu Sufyan. Yeah, uh, five, yeah, no. I'll, I'll bring that. I brought that up in my thing as well. Abu, so, uh, sorry. So because let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. But that, again, let me finish. Right. Let me finish. He shouted across the field and he said, Oh Muhammad, we do not consider you a liar, but we deny what you have brought. And, this, and that is revealed in. Um, and there's an ayah revealed, chapter 6, verse 33, based on that inter very interaction. So the, for you to come here and say that Muhammad, peace be upon him, a liar, those who knew him and even fought against him did not make such a claim. Yeah, but you're preaching this. Because one, people did accuse him of stealing. Um, I, I need to remember the story, but there were people that accused him of... Uh, I can't remember what it was. They accused uh, him of many things. Casey. They accused him exactly. of many things, so you're and they you're, took them all back. You're, you're, well, who was it? The story where they accused? What was it? They accused Muhammad of stealing. See whether it's Sahih or not. Uh, was Which it, is not the, the famous hadith with the Abu Sufyan. Uh, 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 when the Sahaba, when he's no, 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 no. Well, he, 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 he's not a liar. Uh, so, so, 
he's just going to have a check. But again, that's why I just started with, off with that hadith because we're diverting off that. I'm saying we have a clear piece of evidence that which I'm bringing to you. That's not an evidence, that's still your you're, misunderstanding. But the thing is, you're saying I'm misunderstanding the actions. The actions of the Sahaba clearly demonstrate that they did not bring No, 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 no. let's a, focus. A let's focus. Now you're talking about the, uh, disobeying the Prophet. That's a completely different no, no, subject. No, 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 no. Yeah. Because no. you're saying the meaning, because I'm my claim is he, he was either make, telling the truth or lying in that particular statement. What was he you're lying about? About being able to write. Right, he you're wasn't. You're saying I misunderstood it because it means he should get a scribe. But I'm saying that's not an answer because that is an answer. it's not a sufficient answer because Why not? I'm saying his, his Sahaba would have clearly brought it, who were scribes amongst them, would have just said, because they would have heard revelation. I, I, I Wait, answered that. No, but I answered they that. Heard, yeah, let me just, I'll bring up your point as well. They would have heard him recite many revelations before, give many commands before. So they would have known instantly when he says that, that a scribe should come and take note of what he's going to say. They argued amongst them. And your reasoning is that because he was ill, therefore they were justified or had a reason, whether it's justified or not, to then not um, stress him out and let him relax. <coughs> what's this? What's, what's the inverted commas about? Because, I'm because saying, that's in the hadith. They didn't want to okay, cause him distress. So it, the hadith says they differed, right? Yeah, they differed. So why yeah. did they differ? Because some of them wanted uh, wanted it to happen, some of them uh, didn't. So were the ones okay. who wanted him to do it, were they in the correct? What do you call it? We don't know what the Prophet peace be upon him was going to... Uh... Because that's my whole point. Okay, so... so why would you... If he's saying, I will give you something that will not lead you astray, so you know the context, uh, this is your... I would have... And this is what caused a disagreement, because it would seem but... that the people who wanted him to write were in the correct... Okay, um, yeah, so let me just finish. So it seems like the pe the Sahaba that disagreed to say he should write were in the correct Look, be because they boy, opposed paper the people. Paper let me just let me finish by. They opposed the people because we agree there was a split between the Sahaba. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the ones who disagreed to say he shouldn't okay. were clearly in the wrong because there was a reason why and a justified reason why the Sahaba who oh. wanted him to write wanted him to write and they were in the correct paper boy the thing is i'm going to tell you this mm. because we've got a history and everything i'm going to be honest with you mm. stop doing this for the camera no but i I'll, stop doing it for the camera it's not for the camera. It, it's exactly for, it's exactly for no, the camera I'll tell you no 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 i'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you why it's for the camera right. because i made the argument i articulated my argument i gave right. you the reason and then you went back and explained the whole conversation why would you do that i i, I know what the conversation is i'm standing here having that conversation so for you to do that to do that whole monologue of re uh, uh, recapping the entire argument of both sides, that's for the camera. No, that, you're I not having a conversation. No, I tell you why. No, you're not engaging with me. Because if you engage with me, you would understand I was the five points. No, no, no. I'll, I'll tell you why I was engaging. Because this, when I recapped, no. I, sa I said specifically, do you, where the Sahaba who were in favor, I added an extra, an extra point. No, 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 that's because, not. Yes, because the reason why I'm trying to get clarification to say, okay. No, well, I'm right responding. I know, I'm responding. So, yeah, but I'm, I I'm wasn't responding. just repeating, I added no. another caveat. Yeah, because you thought saying. about it, because I can see yeah, when you're, you're, you're no, no. Doesn't make sense. no, no, no. You don't know. Yeah, you don't know. For clarification. No, I but, gave you the clarification. Yeah, but I'm saying. And you ignored it. No, but I'm saying because the context. I'm disagreeing because of the context. So I'm saying, well, if there was a split, why would they split? And who was in the, the Sahaba right had in the, the, the Sahaba had differences of opinion, right. not on just that occasion, yeah. on many occasions. Yeah, which gives okay. So that's that, that, feeds into my no, no. That's got nothing to do with the as with this aspect of was the Prophet Sallallahu able to write or not. That's got nothing to do with it. That now is a different question altogether. So the fact that you're bringing that up as part of the argument shows that you don't even know what you're arguing. That's no, what it's what showing. No, no, you don't know what you're arguing because no, you don't. And people because can, can see. See again, you're appealing to them. I'm no, telling you. I'm, saying because I'm I telling feel you. Like you're trying to respond in a way. No, no. That makes it seem like I'm no. not engaging or I'm trying to be. Um, I up, can up tell. I can tell when people do things for the camera. No, I can tell. The reason why. Okay. You made. I'm. I'm responding because you made the challenge that Muhammad was either the. He was. He no, deceived? I asked you what you think. Yeah. I'll tell you. I asked you what you think. You said you thought he lied. And then you brought this hadith up as an example, to, as an yeah. example and I showed you that A, you're reading it in English, mm. B, you don't know Arabic, so you can't read the Arabic, mm. three, you don't know the, uh, the language of the Arabs in the 7th century and how they articulated themselves in the 7th century. Uh, I forgot what the fourth point was. Um, oh yeah, the, uh, no, I forgot what the fourth point was that I mentioned. 
But uh, and the fifth point I mentioned was uh, the example of Abu Jahl. The the people that actually knew him didn't even make such a claim that he was a liar. They rejected what he brought, but they didn't accuse him of lying, right? They would say that he would borrow it. They would say asatir al awwalin that they was well, these were the fables of the of the ancients, they would make those claims, they would say that he was uh, crazy, they would say that he was possessed, that, that the Qur'an was magic, they would make these claims, but they never accused him of lying, which is very interesting. So for you to come here, yeah, and this, and this incident, and this incident, do you not think, do you not think that when the Qur'an says that the Prophet Sallallahu was um, illiterate, yeah, ummi, um, that when he suddenly, when he suddenly says, oh, bring me something to write, and they, and, Come on, pay attention, all right? And when they bring, leave that, leave that for now, bring it to him in a bit, let me finish my point. Mm -hmm. So do you not think mm -hmm. that when the Quran says that the Prophet Sallallahu is Ummi, an illiterate man, and then suddenly among his companions, he says, bring me some write paper, I'm going to write something, and they understand it that way, do you not think they will start to question the revelation? Of course they will. Well, if they, if yeah, they, of course they will. If they had always known that he was illiterate, they wouldn't have questioned it. No, but then he suddenly, but then he suddenly says, "I'm going to write something." Yeah, but that's an, it's no, this that's, is a, this is actually evidence. No, this is actually evidence that they understood that he's not going to that he's not where, going to write anything. Okay, illiterate? it's in the Quran. Okay. What's the quote? Because it it also calls other other religious groups illiterate as well. Okay, chapter seven, verse 157. Yeah, go on. Uh, the Hudaybiyah hadith, Ali radiallahu anhu, show me where he showed you. Uh, yeah, but I'll tell you in the Quran. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Chapter 7, verse 157, if I've, if I've got the Hudaybiyah, reference correct. Yeah, Hudaybiyah as well. Yeah. And even what, even what, the letter to Her Heraclius, the, the letter to uh, Nagashi. Nagashi, okay. What None of these were, what do you call it, written by the Prophet, peace be upon him. Okay, the and the thing is, what's interesting, the letter, the letter to Heraclius, it starts off by saying, from, the, from uh, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, the messenger of God. So the, the letter is saying it's from the Prophet, peace be upon him, but he never penned it. Okay. Okay, so what, the reason why he had a ring, yeah, to seal the letters is to show it's from him. So that uh, the scribes, right. after they would scribe it, he would seal it. Okay, Let, let's... Go into another topic. For um, example, um, you know, he needs another. He needs another topic. This ain't going anywhere. No, because you you said I'm stick. I, I don't to stick on that one point about the, about the writing. The the, the, the the night journey. What about it? Was that bodily? Yes. So we had Aisha, who said that his she his body never went anywhere in the hadith. So my question is, and this is Side why, hadith. So some some hadith. So again, so we have, for example. No, I don't want you to misquote the hadith. Cite it. Oh, you want me to cite it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because here's my second point of a lie. Muhammad claims that he went on a night journey, yeah. and you agree that it was bodily. Yeah. And I will bring up the hadith, which claims that his body never went anywhere. So. Yeah. Oh. Tell him about the meeting with Abu Sufyan and the questions Heraclius asked Abu Sufyan. We did. We did. Very specific questions mm. to find out whether he's true prophet or not. Mm. And, and Heraclius, yeah, Heraclius acknowledged him. He'll wash. Yeah. Did Heraclius become a Muslim? He did. Huh? He Did he? Did Heraclius become a Muslim? I don't think he became exactly. a Muslim. So you no, but he acknowledged it. Right. No, but he acknowledged him as a true prophet. He, he, if, he acknowledged him as a true prophet. And, but he didn't follow him. Doesn't doesn't okay. matter. The Jews the Jews knew he was a prophet, but they didn't follow him. Heraclius said, "Have you ever accused him of telling lies before his claim?" Doctor, no, no, shuf shuf. Doctor, do you give a sheikh, inshallah? Sheikh Ibn Hazm. Sheikh Ibn Hazm. They don't revere him anyhow. They don't. That's not revering. That is actually. That's not revering. No, that's not revering. Let me ask you a question. If you visit a king, you're supposed to bow to a king, right? Or you say your highness to a, to a king. Now, if you don't say your highness to royalty, is that disrespectful? What is that question? 
Come on, cite the hadith, cite the hadith. Are you gonna, come on, are you going to get sidetracked? So my point is this. My point is this. I'm saying to you, if you have the hadith, 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 you said you obey Jesus. So I said to him, No, no. Exactly. So I'm saying to him, 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 i am saying to him i am saying to him that means you're Muslim. So I'm asking no, no, you, no, no, do no, these no, no, different no. What is What is submission? Then you ask, what right. is submission to God? Yeah. That's the question that I is follow. Exactly. Just, what, what is submission to, to God? Why? Right. Did he sub submit to the Father and pray to him? Who did he pray to? Allah says, who did he pray he to? He said, <coughs> hold on. Jesus prayed to the Father. The Quran exactly. says Allah is a father so to no one. So I, therefore, your own no, argument no, debunks no, yourself. No, 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 no. You just said Jesus prayed to the Father. It doesn't. It doesn't. Can a Muslim pray to Allah's Father? Would you allow me? Yes. Do you know Arius? No, no, leave Arius. Yeah, leave Arius. 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 We're not Jesus. talking about Arius. Let him explain. Look, right. first of all, first right. of all, this this father thing, yeah? yeah? If I go to the Peshitta, yeah. which is the uh, true, uh, tr the, the true Bible, the Aramaic, what was the language of Jesus? Well, according to the Quran. No, 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 the Quran. What was the language of Jesus? It's got nothing to do with exactly. the Quran. What is, what's the language of Jesus? Spoke. It was Aramaic. Aramaic, yeah. yeah. No, the Peshitta. You know what's the Peshitta? Yes, I do. What, what is it? It's a Syriac uh, version. Which is of the old, uh, which is the yeah. new Aramaic, yeah? Syriac, which right. is Aramaic. You're talking to a Christian who knows about it, so let me correct you. Uh, correct scholars, you have, what? scholars have analyzed the Peshitta and it contains Greek words because it highlights that the Peshitta was actually copied from Greek. And uh, if you want me to. I didn't. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did I say to you, mm. it's all a fourth century? What's your oldest? What's your oldest? Uh, no, what's your oldest manuscript? Sanaticus, Sanaticus was mm -hmm. Vaticanus one, mm -hmm. the fourth century or the fifth century Alexandria, uh, Alexandria. Okay. So, 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 as yeah, I say you to you, you're talking, you know, you're talking about some to someone yes. who knows his subject. Not the Peshitta. What's the Peshitta? Did you, I say to you? Did you? Did you let me finish okay, to say? I'll let you finish. Go on. I won't interrupt. Was was the Dead Sea Scrolls from the Qumran, the Qumran ones? Mm -hmm. Was Aramaic found in them or not? Ar Aramaic, Hebrew, and Greek. Yeah, was it was in them? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was in them. Mm -hmm. So these are your oldest ones. Yeah, your oldest ones. Mm -hmm. So I am not wrong in saying that there was Aramaic in the. Did you know that the Proto of James? Yeah, but we're the Proto about of Jesus. James. Let's stick, stick to that point. But no, Jesus spoke Aramaic. Right. His disciples spoke Aramaic. Mm -hmm. So how come that Matthew, Ma Matthew, Mark, John, and Luke suddenly Greek. they they happen to learn high, not just the normal Greek, right. the high level of Greek. Right. 
So at the time, the right. pe people also had scribes and manuenses. Now here's the ironic thing, that the Gospels were written in Greek, and as you know, if you disagree with that, it would seem odd within the Quran that the book that Jesus was given is called Injil, and anyone who knows about Arabic cognates knows that comes from the Greek word Evangelion. So the question would be, if it was originally... Are you, are you serious? That, come on, you're better than this. I know. He's, 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 he's so, no, my, my point is this. No, 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 continue, you're, continue you're, with this point. Continue so my with point it. is this. If the text See, were he's, he's, uh, I'm, I'm making the point. I'm continuing. I, I said if the text were originally written in Greek, in, in, uh, in Aramaic, it would make nonsensical uh, logic that the Christian community knew it as written in Greek. And for some reason, even the Quran takes from the Greek words because that was the commonly used gospel, the Evangelion, which the Christians use. So if you are saying the gospels were anything other than that, you would have to show me within the first 600 years of Christianity that any Christian used anything other than that. Because that's based on the uh, claim from the Quran that you believe that Jesus was given a book in his own language to the certain Christians. I'm asking for where's the evidence if you disagree with me. Because my claim is all the Christian communities go to Egypt where you had the Coptic Christians who are the oldest, one of the oldest Christians. They, in, in Egypt, the Coptic Christians are one of the oldest Christian communities. They will also attest to the fact because they say the catechism uh, was started by Mark and they will attest to it. It's Talking Greek. about the Coptics, but he doesn't take the Coptics as, as, as Christians. Mm. If you right, ask they, him, yeah. if no, he will, yeah. Huh? Yeah. So, so, He's so, so, so do, you believe, do you believe in all the books? They have got 82 books. Do you believe in all the 82 books? No, but they're still Christians. Just like the, so the Jehovah Witnesses are. No, I don't. I don't believe in all the no. Jehovah's Witnesses believe Jesus is was the Eastern, an angel. Is, is the Eastern? Is the Eastern? Is the East, yes, is the Eastern, Eastern Orthodox? Yes, they are the Christians. East, and the Western Orthodox? Yes, I, I'll say they're all Christians. All of them are Christians. Yes. So even the ones that worship Mary as the Mother of God. Well, you're a Christian, but you're not supposed to worship <laughs> Mary. And they will tell you they don't worship Mary. No, they worship Mary. They say Look, they won't. I had, I, had, I, had I had discussions questions. with them. I had discussions with them. They, they worship say, Mary. They worship the saint, the saints. Well, do you know? Do you know? Do you know that the representative of uh, Jesus? No, you should know this, and you know it. Is the Pope? He represents Jesus. He can actually well, say this is haram and this is halal. Yeah, I'm not a Catholic. So uh, you see, that. here it go. I'm no. not a Catholic. Yeah, yeah but you asked me about but, the, but Orthodox. The, 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 the early, Orthodox. don't have the Orthodox. The earliest. No, no. The, 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 the Orthodox they don't have popes, yeah. but they have got different. They have yeah, got but different you asked me about the Orthodox and the Greek Coptics. And, and, and I, I said to you, the Western. The Western is who is the Western? It's the Catholics. But I, I never mentioned the Catholics. But I said to you, the Western, the Western Church. You said yes. No, you. And the, I brought did up. Did they say I, that or not? Yeah. Well, I must have misheard it because I brought <coughs> okay, up the you must Coptic. Have I brought up the Coptic. They are uh, Eastern. They are Eastern. I the Eastern. And I said to you, the Western. You said yes. Right. I said to you, and the Western, but and you said I wouldn't yes. understand what you meant by that. Okay. So I thought you were referring to what I was okay. referring to. But back to the point, we were saying what you believe Jesus had a different injury. So I'm asking what is the evidence for that? It is in the Quran. Exactly. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, so, so your only evidence is a book that came 600 years later. Right. So, well, whoa, 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 a book that came 600 years later. This is says, no low level. Says, no, no, wait, wait, paper boy, this is low let level. Him, let me, let him, let him it's low him level polemic. I'm going. I'm saying a book that let came. Him, I'm saying a book that came. Sorry, 600, Excuse me, sir. You know this guy? You know him? Look, wait, wait. I'll say, oh, I'll wait for this. My point is, a book that came 600 years later makes a claim. When we look back into history, I've asked for evidence of those Christians who utilized that book. So it's not just, oh, it came 600 years later. I'm saying, the only the problem is, the claim came 600 years later. So when we look back into history, to search for evidence, to validate that claim, there is no evidence that supports it, only the claim that the book says it. And the book also claims that the book was called the Injil. And if you look at people like Al-Sayuti, 
who mention foreign words in the Quran, they will admit that the Injil is taken from the Greek cognate, that, and even scholars know it's taken from the Greek Angelion. So if the Quran... No, he, he, he tried to elbow me, the, the idiot. <laughs> So shake, shake, let's go back. No, no, but look, we were having a conversation. He goes, do you know this? If yeah, you, if I know. If you want to fight, you go on there. But no, I just no. want to say to him, then he involved me. Okay. Anyway, let's go back to our conversation. Oh, that's a... Yeah, so my ask was, can you show me which Christians used this Injil and what it was? Okay. Because you seem to believe that it was in the original language. So I would ask if you believe that from the Quran, can you even prove what? that evidence? No, 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 Demonstrate me from no. the Quran that it was even in that language. Look, I will de demonstrate it. The Prophet, the Allah Jalla wa'ala says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِمَادَ لِيَتَذَبَّرُ Look, that we have not sent a messenger except in his own people's language. This is your proof from the Quran. Okay, now, would you, ask for a proof would you agree, I'm going to, the word Injil is not a, a native Arabic it is, word. It is. It's from it a cognate. It is, it is. Look, you are not, you are not a professor of Arabic. Do you know, do you know Al Sayyidi? I'm sure you, you don't do. know. You do not know like the even you know uh, 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 the evangel. Evangel. Yeah. It's it means it the, means the good news. The good news right. Yeah. Now, so so, so that angel like 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 angel like for example we call we Arabic. call the psalms just wait we call the psalms we call them zabor. Okay. Zabara, zabara in 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 Arabic it means written now even in hebrew is zabur but you call them psalms okay so so the if we come to play with the lexicons and that you haven't that, that's not that's no, not a proof you can stand on because i can appeal to people like al sayuti who did a exegesis of words because you, if you yeah, yeah, wait, wait, on, because you'll on, be aware that some yeah, of the me, give me, you, you, yeah a reference so reference, you'd be reference. you'd be aware that some of the uh, i believe i'll say you did a work and some of the early scholars were surprised that some of the foreign you words mentioned Suyote, bring me the Suyote. yeah i will but i'm going to make my point that some of the early scholars were quite surprised that there were foreign words in the quran because the quran says it's a clear arabic book this is your, your faith, this is your religion. That's what I do out here. Oh, Why are you yeah. coming to me about my faith and religion? Yeah. Go and fight him. Go and fight him. Be a man. Be an elder. Be a man. Be an elder. 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 You wait, uh, hold up. You came here to rile up Muslims in hopes of. What did you try and do? You came here to rile up Muslims. How? How? Right. You want to see recording? You recording on what? Recording on what? Come on. Walk away, man. This dude is attacking me. Do you want to see the blood? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Blood, man kicking me and shit. The man kicking me and shit. Oh, I feel so bad for you. What's wrong, brother? What's wrong? Huh? It's right. wrong. Nah, this guy is just calm. He's calm. Leave it. It's alright. It's he came here looking for trouble. He came here. He came here looking for trouble, and then tried to and then tried to claim victim. The only way he said, the only way is turning the other. Yeah, let him turn the other cheek. Stop crying about your wound. I don't know. But the only reason why he turned in the other cheek because he can't he can't, uh, yeah. he can't handle himself. There is no manhood. There's no manhood. That's what I say to you. There's no courage. There's no manhood. There's no nothing. You come here look for trouble and then you. I wouldn't I wouldn't even want to hear him. It would be embarrassing for me to hear him. No. Why do why do I need to hit someone as weak as that? You come to look for trouble and then also and then <laughs> And yeah, okay. Get me the COT one. If, if you're here, yeah, next, next week, week inshallah, bring me the COT. Yeah. yeah, I do have it. 
It's no problem. No. Just just bring it to right. me. I'm uh, the, the original. Uh, I'm an Arab, so I'm an Arab speaker. Right. So I'll, 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 I need to see it in the original, please. Yeah. Well, I can give you the reference. So I will have the English yeah, translation. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can tell then... me. I okay. doubt you'll have the English translation. <coughs> I, I, I'm very aware that the word in jewel and there's many other like Hebrew words. For example, if you're Arab, Arab, um, my pronunciation might be a bit of Bethora. Bethora. What, do you mean what, what does that word mean? It might be because Enough, of your pre the, presentation, yeah. Okay. Your, your pronunciation uh, is... Uh, um, okay. Are you, are you trying to mean Batula? Yeah. Uh, Batula. No. The trusty, Batula is a woman who... No, is, no, no, no. I'll okay. find no, it. No, no, no. Yeah, find it. No, sure. Can I ask you a question? Was Jesus Muslim? Yes. Yes, thank you very much. Was Moses... Yes, Muslim. Uh, Abraham was Muslim. All of them were Muslim. Alhamdulillah. 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 Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Amen. Amen. Basically, mm. you agreed that the word Evangelion means good news. No, that's how, that's what you said. I know, I know. The language ah. that is ah. translated from, yeah. that it means good news. Right. No, no, that I, I'm just going by the lexicon. Yeah. So, so whatever the lexicon says, mm. listen, English is not my first language. Right. And if it says that Evangelium in, in English, Sib home, then I, as a first, I was... Sib home! Okay. The reason why I'm not going to go against it. I, I'm not a translator from... from. Uh, yeah, so we, if we say Jesus came with the good news, that would have been the name of the book. Because that's what the Gospels mean. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, right. that's, that, that's, no, according to... If you translate it. Yes. For example, let, let's say, John. Yeah. Yeah. In Spanish, it's Juan. Yeah. But it's just the same. Yeah, it's just like exactly. the. You're so, make, that's my point that I'm making. So I'm going to show you something. <coughs> because what I'm trying to say is, let's look at the original but, but name. You see what they have done? They ch they changed it to gospel. Now, in, yeah. nobody said evangelium. Yeah. Except that was if you Greek. are Spanish or something like yes. that, they still or, or Greek or that right. they say that. But all now they all say gospel according. No but problem. we, for yes. us, for us, what you have to understand, Injil is a book, one book, and it's not according to Jesus, it's not according to anyone. That's what, Zabur, it's one book. And as I'm going to give you the Islamic tradition. Yeah. We believe that it came all at once. So. All at once. And was revealed to uh, Isa, 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 Isa all at once. Not like, not, not Where like... It, how do you know it was revealed all at once? The Quran oh. was revealed gradually, no, that's, right? No, that's, that's different. So that's asking, different. Yeah, that's but I'm different. saying, what is the evidence that it was revealed when did, all when did, when did When did Jesus start his ministry? Tell me about according to the no, Quran. No, because no, no, I, no, no. The when reason why... Jesus, they don't know but every time, every any time of our said, sources. You me, no. But when I gave you, when yeah. I gave you the proof... Yeah, but the reason for When I gave him the yeah. proof, yeah. saying... Yeah, the reason why... The reason why I'm asking for the evidence is because you keep appealing back to the book that you say is corrupt and you don't believe in. So if you're saying how yeah, long, yeah, when did Jesus you know start? Why? You know why? Right. You know why? Don't you know this in debate? You hold me down to my books and I hold you down to your books. Okay, so, so this is how a debate is. If you don't know how to debate no, paper boy and being here for no, so but I'm saying if you believe it to be true, you bring me something. Can, look, right. you brought you brought me the Injil from the Quran, yeah, right. and you say, well. Now you hold me down to the Quran. I'm, right. I'm friendly. But if you, right, if I say to you, salam but if you, but if you, if I, if I want to hold you yeah. to your belief, I'm not gonna use the Quran with you. You don't believe in the Quran. But I'm gonna use the gospel with you, the Bible, because that's what you believe. So I will hold you to your to your uh, church fathers. I will hold you to your books. That's okay. what I will hold you to. Okay, but let me just. I found what I'm looking for. Okay. So I was trying to say the word Bethora. Yeah. So obviously it's that's the it. word Good Tidings. Huh? So it should be somewhere in Bethora. We gave you good tidings. Bringing good tidings. Right. Glad tidings. Glad tidings. Now my, my point was, <coughs> because you said like John and Juan, right, mm -hmm. being the same. So in Arabic, uh, the, the Hebrew is Bethora. <coughs> 
is very similar. We know that. So we know that there's a lot of yeah, similarities. Yeah, it's, it's a Semitic language. It's a Semitic language. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but my point is, that is actually the root word of gospel. So when the Quran uses the word Injil, it uses it from the Greek because if it used it directly, it doesn't use it from the Greek. You know why? No, but because because Allah point. says. Yeah, okay, but okay, my point okay, is, sorry, you yeah. both agreed. So that word, good glad tidings, yeah. means also good news, which is the the meaning of the word evangelion. That's why we say we come with the gospel, which is the good news or the glad tidings. So my point is, but it's an Arabic word. <laughs> but it's taken from. No, it's not taken from. So they are sister wait, wait, languages. Wait, 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 yeah. Okay, the wait, thing let, is, let, no, no, it's not even that. Look, do you know that Arabic came before Hebrew? Let me make my point again. So I'm saying. I'm before Greek. I'm, yeah. say, I'm saying. I'm before. If, any, if anything, wait, wait, wait. if anything, the you Hebrew would have borrowed. No, 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 because you you spoke about it. Let me. You're mis. I'm not missing. No, I'm not. I'm not misconstruing. You are. Just listen. Let me explain my point and answer it. I have. I've been listening to you for a while. Okay. No. Yeah, but say what my point is. Because you're talking about the Arabic language and where and its origins. You're talking about the etymology of of of, of the um, words. Okay. Now, the, the issue you have is that you don't even get the, the history of the language. According, Arabic is older than Hebrew. Okay? And older than Greek yeah. and older than Latin. Because, no, it is relevant because, relevant because what you're saying, I'll tell you why it's relevant. Every scholar will la, la, la. tell you there are loan words in the Quran. For example, it talks about. No. no. It's, it's, for example, Istabara. No, no, the no, word no. Istabara in the Quran no, is taken. No. Show, just show no, us the no. words, bro. No, no. <laughs> like, Arabized. Yeah. Arabized, Arabized yeah. is different. It doesn't mean. It doesn't mean yeah. learn, learn. For yeah. example, for example, for example, a word right. like vice versa, mm -hmm. vice versa. What 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 language is that? I'm not sure. That, that it's word Latin. It's, it's yeah. Latin. But in English, you said vice versa. Soul. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah? So that it's been Anglicized, yeah? Anglicized. Kul de sac, kul de sac. What, yeah, is it? what language is it? French, French yeah. yeah? But so in here you say kul de sac. Yeah, so, the, so the, English, it's been, it, no. yeah, the English has, has etymology in the French, so that, we know well, because, because, from the interaction but, but, because, with the French, that's where we got the, the word. Yeah. But, but because in here, in here, the French have ruled for for years and mm. hundreds of years and hundreds exactly. of years. Exactly. So what yeah. I'm saying is that that goes. You're making my point and going. No, no we're not. Your we're, point. Let me uh, let me just read this. Actually, against your point. What you're and saying? I'll, no, there's a difference between our. You you need Arab to make a yeah. Learning. Exactly. You're making a. You you're not getting a distinction. Yeah. Arabized yes. is different to essentially borrowing a word from a different language. Okay. What is the, the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me even break. What does the injil mean? What does it? If it's an natural Arabic word, Injil, it will have a meaning. Look, look. Injil mm. is a book that was revealed but yeah. to Isa. What does it mean? Every word are has you, a meaning. You, no, I'm, yes, I can agree. It was given to, mo according to your belief, given to in, to, to Isa. Isa but in the Wongo. word itself will have a, a meaning if it had if it's a natural word. No. That's why you I can't will, give me a no. meaning because it's taken from the Greek, no, so it doesn't no, no, have no, an actual no, no, meaning. Look, look, look. No. Look, nothing now with the Sheikh Google, nothing is, is beyond the... Uh... Yes, and I'll, before, while you're looking, yeah, yeah. I'll bring the reference Sheikh next Google. week. Okay, Imam sure. Al Sayyuti okay, yeah, and it. other scholars' opinions such as Ibn Al Sukbi and Al Kafiz Ibn Hajar collected about 125 non Arabic words in the Quran cons consisting of 13 languages. They are yeah, Persian. So mean... yeah, but... who's, who's the source? Who's the source? It's Google. Oh, no. Yes, Google. No, who's the source? No, it's just Google. Where's the source from? Yeah, I'm going to. That's why. Yeah, and what is the source. Arabic? Yeah, you, you, you know, you, this yeah, but is what look. I'm trying to say. Why would Al Sayyuti say, for example. You are, you are, you are making this conclusion you are making this conclusion based on what you're reading here yeah first and foremost bring us a source so yeah, we can read it that's fine I'm <laughs> if you don't have to next week I'll bring a source but this I'm, is I'm probably not I'm probably this, not gonna be here the chef fine. will be this is what my argument is and that's why I just googled it so I can show you a reference that's not a reference Google's not a reference Habibi yeah but I'm saying you can look for it yourself and even if I'm you don't see I'm me, aware I'm aware of what right. Sayyuti says yeah, because I've got, I've got his works on so the Quran. You, so you agree that okay. he says that there are no he he talks about foreign words look, in the Quran. he talks about Arabized words what is an Arabized <laughs> word it has to come from a different language is that correct and then it's because <laughs> exactly. use it into Thank into you. the Arabic yes, language yes I agree you know? I agree so but the uh, so is, the word is it, Arabic but why would Allah no, the because the, no, because the, uh, uh, hold well, on. no, but wait, wait. Even even this, if the Quran, if Arabic mm. is older than Greek, it's older than Hebrew. Yeah, the, why would it Arabize a word 
that it's older than. It means it has to have borrowed that word before it no, no, became Arabic. No, that's not what it means. No, I know where he's going. Uh, look, look, you want to go to Bishara. That's yeah. the word you want to <laughs> yeah. okay. Bishara, it's good news. Right. Good news. Glad tag. Glad tag. Glad tag. Yes, so Jesus in Aramaic would have been saying, I come with the Bashara to all the people. Yeah. And then in English, we later took that word from the Greek into the English. And from the Greek, yeah. Yes. Uh, that's correct. Right. Now, now you took it from the, the Greek, yes. but we took it and Arabized it. That's what we call Mu'arraba. <coughs> it means it became part of the Arabic, Arabic language. Yeah. It's, not, it's not anymore Greek or that. Yeah. Yeah? Right. So it's Mu'arraba. And this is the thing, that's why we say we don't borrow, yeah. but it is Arabic. Right. Yeah. Now, that's, that's now this is my point. Is Bashara, Bishara, 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 Bishara the same as Injil? It is. Yes. It's it the is. same word. Yeah. It is the same yeah. word. It is the same word. Of course it is. I'm telling you, it's the same yeah. word. The etymology is not the same. Doesn't matter. Uh, do you have any idea? Like, for example. You're saying the meaning is the same. Look. It, Look, like, no, no, if for I example, said to someone, friend, no, I like, for, for example, Jill, no, so for example, no, 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 for example, you know, friend, you know, you know, you know the, 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 it's the same meaning, but different, uh, what do you call it, context, so they use, so for example, when you say friend, we have sahib and we have khalil, okay, it means the exact same thing, but they are, and a sahiba, and a sahiba, it means the wife, yeah. and it means a girlfriend, okay, Exactly. So, so it depends okay. on the context yeah, determines it how it's is used. Is Injil Arabized? <laughs> Arabized. Yeah. What is it Arabized? <laughs> the Greek. <laughs> the Greek. Yes. That's my point. That's what so, I've been so saying. What, so what? So no, but it's Arabized. not a foreign word. Okay, maybe that's what we're saying. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I'll correct that. Yeah. Okay, no problem. So, so look, I'll, it means Bishara. Yeah. Right. It means taken from the, yes. from the Greek, okay, no but it's Arabized. Yeah. Right. So okay. my question is... Otherwise, it would have been Evangelium. Yeah. Yeah. So, huh? so which word came first? No, that's no, not his no, question. No. We're talking about... No, but I'm saying, he's saying, the word in Jew was from the Arabized. Yes. A word no. of, from so the is, Greek. It, is it Arab, Arabized Arab 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 from Greek? Okay. From the start. No, 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 no. no, no. Like, no, no. like, like, like yeah, he's saying to make it Arabic simple, was from the, start, the words in the, the Quran word are Arabic. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They are, yeah. some, and there are times, and there are some, yeah. Yeah. So we haven't taken, yeah. That's still... Go this is what so, but this is what says. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's fine. I can you adjust my yeah, you, language you to say it's Arabic. Language is all the time. But right. the point still remains. Yeah, so, so because the what is the point? The contention was Jesus because was not was given a Greek book. That his, we know how that. could his At disciples the time of write in high Greek? So my question would be if Jesus he appeals to the Peshitta. So yeah, but if you Asking if me, like, Jesus had the Peshitta, why? Him, he didn't say that yeah. Jesus had the Peshitta. No, well. He didn't say that okay. Jesus had the Peshitta. But he was saying that's close then, to Jesus' language. No, no, he misconstrued it. He made it sound like that you said that Isa al -Islam had the Peshitta. Let me break that. No, no, no exactly. No, 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 I know. That's not what he said. I misunderstood. No problem. Yeah. I said to you, fourth century. Come on, pay attention. Don't say things that. My point is this. We agree that the word Injil was taken from the Greek. Now, the contention was that their Gospels was never in Greek because Jesus spoke Aramaic. So my question is, why would Allah take from the Greek word that the Christians knew if the original text was in Aramaic, which has a, a word... French, French. Why would you take... Why would Sorry. Ara Paper boy. But, Paper boy. But this is my question. L'Evangile. In, in French, L'Evangile. Yeah. In Spanish, L'Evangelo. In, uh, in, uh, yeah. in Italian, yeah. Evangelio. In, in, in from the Greek yes. but, but the, the thing about it, if you talk to an Italian, he will say to you, this is Italian. Yeah. In yeah. Italian. No, if you talk to a French, yeah. he will no. tell you it's but French. Here's yeah. two things. We can agree it might be Italianized. It, yeah, that's what we yeah. say, yeah. Arabized. I, exactly. Yeah, so it's an and Arabic I, word. I said I've agreed with that. Yes. My problem is, yeah. if it's taken from the Greek word, yeah. why would the Quran take from the Greek word when the Greek has nothing to do with Esau? Because you agree that Isa, you said that we give to you, uh, you send to each nation a prophet in their own tongue. Yeah. So Jesus would have spoken to all his true Muslim disciples in Aramaic. So why didn't Allah take from the Arabic word, I'm um, sorry, the Aramaic word, but why would he take from the Greek word, which has nothing to do with Jesus? Because only you say that the Greek book we have is a fake book. 
is not the real in jail. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So it's even if you bring it, even if you bring it in Aramaic, even if you bring it in Aramaic, we're still gonna say it's fake. Yeah. No problem. But my question, you know is, my question you know still remains: Why because, did Allah because take from the Greek word? What's your kawa, Hadi? You said you, you said in jail mm. Arabic from the Greek. Word. Yeah, it's uh, look. Allah Jalla wa Ala didn't take it. It's Arabized. That's how yeah. the Arabs yeah. knew it. The Arabs, look, Allah Jalla wa Ala spoke to the Arabs yeah. with the language they understood. Mm. When he says so in Injil, when he, uh, are you no. uh, allow me to finish? Because yeah. yeah. he said something. When yeah. he say to them in Jil, right. yeah, they understood it's the holy book that was revealed onto uh, Jesus. Right. Peace be uh, upon him. You know, you know how? You know how? Because at that time, the, in Najran, a place in Najran called Najran in Saudi Arabia, Christians used to live there. Uh, well, uh, no, no, not Jatibites, there are the Milkites, Milkites. They used to, be, to, to live there. So Allah Jalla spoke to them in a language they understood. When he said in Jeel, they knew it's Bisharatul Khalas. Bisharatul Khalas, it means glad tidings of salvation. Khalas. That's why they call they call Jesus Al Muhallis. So Al Mu Al Muhallis. But my question is, those Muslim Christians. You've been, you've been answered. You've been answered. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, but you keep repeating it. The, the Muslim Christians. What did Muslim? They the, the Christians that you believe were Muslims, because Muslims. I'm not sure where you stand, but they'll say Trinitarians weren't the original Christians. Right? Or I just, I don't. Are you I don't, talking about the disciples? Do you know? Do you no, know that I'm Muslim saying, by the way? I'm saying, do you know the Quran, Muslim by the way is, is, saying, is found? Do you know yeah. that Muslim mm. by the way? I'm, is found is found in the is found in the uh, in the uh, in the Aramaic text. Do you know that Muslim? I Michelin. don't know about that. I've never okay, heard I'm it. telling you. Yeah. Like you'd Allah, have to, have to no, because I have got no, yeah, because Fair I have enough. got no, no, Muslim, because no. I have got I have got the Peshitta. That's why I'm saying I've to never you. Heard about the translation it. of the Peshitta. So what I'm trying to say is. The, Mus the followers of Jesus, who you believe were Muslims, right? They had there was a community of Muslims. I'm saying because you disputed that the gospel was given, you said it was given to Jesus in one entirety. One. So yeah. I'm saying the community that utilised that book. What language do they have that book? In? The problem is the problem is that we do not know that book. If there is a book. In jail, so but you haven't it, got it. Yeah, it got no lost. Problem, it got no lost. Problem. Let me get, uh, let me to put you at ease. Let me put you at ease. The Prophet, peace be upon him, he told us one thing. Now, if you ask me if I believe in the Injil, I say to you, yes, yes, I believe. Because me, uh, just allow me to finish, please. Like I allow you to finish. If you say to me, do you believe in Injil? I'll tell you, yes, I believe in the Injil. The reason why, if I say to you, I don't believe in the Injil, I become a disbeliever. So I believe in a book called the Injil, and a book called the Torah, and a book called Zabur. Zabur. And these three were revealed. Mm -hmm. Zabur to David, Torah to Moses, and, and Injil uh, to Injil Isa. To Isa the, yeah? the, no, my belief in this, in this. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to us, there are three categories. One of it, whatever is equal to ours, we believe in it. And I'll give you one uh, example. Shema Israel. Adonai, Elohainu Adonai Achad. Okay, so the Shema, yeah, it is exactly with us. So I would say to you, yes, this was revealed in the in the Torah. Why? Because it doesn't go against the Quran. Anything which goes against the Quran are will refute it. And there are others, mm. others which we don't believe, no. but at the same time, we, we don't, don't know this belief. Yeah, that, yeah. That's a red herring, Sheikh, and I'll tell you it's why. Not no, it's not red herring. I'll tell you why. We're talking and about our beliefs. Is, yeah, why is it a red herring? Exactly. I'll tell you why, because I'm not asking what your mm. beliefs are. I'm asking for evidence to validate what your belief is. Our well, evidence why, is from... No, so that's what I'm saying. That's why I asked him first. What language was the book revealed in? He says maybe Aramaic. He answered you. Wait, yeah, he... I so didn't I, say maybe. I said it was I revealed think, in Aramaic. All right, no problem. And I give you the reason. Yeah, but let me finish, Sheikh. No, I'll let you speak. Because, for example, you never let me speak. You keep interrupting. No, but you were speaking for a while. No, no. Anyway, you are interjecting. So all I'm saying, for example, the Quran says to the Christians at the time, judge by what is in you, revealed in your book. So are you no, saying no, that? No, 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 no. So it says to the Jews and the Christians to, to judge by what's revealed. And in and no, within what is within mentioning? Within their books. No. Within what? No. Because he mentions the, the Torah and Injil, yeah. and, then and then he goes on, finishes the with the Quran. 
So you, you guys the never finished. The people of the Torah. But listen. Yes. So my question is: Let the people of the book the judge. At the time, did, did they know? have the, did they have that uh, Aramaic? In Jew, or was it the Greek one? Because if it's been told, no, we don't know. No. Because all, 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 that's, all, that's, all that's allow me, allow point. me to tell you, allow me to tell you. We know right. that the Jews they did have the Hebrew one. This is we know it. Okay. The the uh, uh, the, the, the one that they had, like Walaq ibn Nawfal, the uh, uncle of uh, Khadija yeah, radiallahu uh, anha. He had an Arabic we, one apparently. Yes. He was writing now, one, yeah. Now, he so must have he translated he, it. He, he may it. have translated it from the Greek. Because at the time, because at the time, Arabic, Arabic Bible, they did not appear until after that. Yeah. Until after, the, until like 200 uh, Not yet, and then it was years, the ninth century. Or 300 years after. It was after, ninth century. After, yeah. So, <laughs> so what it would have been, it would have been his own copy. Um, his personal copy. copy. Yeah, his personal copy. Now, if you say to me, how do I know? How do I know? Because you know, we have got the Quran and the Hadith. So we have got a Hadith, a Hadith that tells us the that the Torah that the Jews had at the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, was in Hebrew. We know that. Okay. That, that is different. And we don't know about the Christians, what they had. Well, we know one thing about the Christians. Right. We know that the first book was in Torah. Hmm. But the Injil, Injil, yes. Yes. the problem is they didn't have the Injil. But you said, for example, allow me to, I, allow right. me to, they didn't have the Injil. They had a gospel according to Mark, they had a gospel according to Luke, they had gospels, they had letters, they had acts. These are 27 books, 27 books that were in different languages. You had the Vulgate, which is, which is the Latin one. Mm. Then your earliest ones, are, as I said, some of them in Greek, some writings is in Aramaic, some writings are in Latin, yeah. the Qumran ones, the Qumran ones. Hebrew. So, so the, the, at the end of the day, you had a melange, a mixture, a mixture of uh, languages. <coughs> so what did the, them Arabs of Najran, because I'm, I'm still gonna go for the Christians of Najran, what book they had, I'm, I'm, I can't tell you yeah, if it know. was in Arabic, or if it was in Greek, or right. if it was in, in Latin. But this is neither here nor of here. What we, should, what we should speak about right. is God. Right. Now, this is the important thing. Right. We speak about a language of a book. Who yeah. cares about the language of well, a book? God we cannot should... make a mistake. So that's why I'm asking these things, because you can, the, the claim is, we believe. So I'm saying, okay, no problem, you believe. Can we find evidence to support that? So when I ask, okay, they mm. had a Injil, so-called book for the Injil. No, Do they we know didn't what have the Injil. That's the problem you don't I want to understand. The Injil is a book, yeah. is a book, it would be books of laws, like, right. like. So my question was, who was it? Allow me, see, you see, you never no. allow me no. to finish. Okay, go on. Paper boy, you don't just No, but patient. you were speaking long, and I'm, I was I'm speaking, no. and you interjected. No, no, but, but I'm, no, I'm, I'm an older, I'm a northern no person, problem. please, no yeah. Problem, yeah. Problem, Look, so what we speak about is the Injil, yeah? Yes. Now I'm telling you mm. that there was no Injil at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What there was reminiscence yeah. of the Injil. For example, and I gave you and I gave you that. Like like the Shema of Israel. Shema Israel, Adonai Nurukhainu, Adonai Achad, like this, and other things which go go hand in hand with Islam. So we accept that and we say this is the word of God. There are others who don't disbelieve but also we don't believe in them. And there are other things like the Trinity, we completely reject. We completely reject that. Because why? Because the Quran rejects it. So I'm giving you the Islamic narrative of what we believe. But you want to... No, you want, yeah, no, but that's what I'm... That's you so want to... You want to... Uh, one, uh, 30 seconds and I finish. You want to corner me into the Injil and I'm saying to, to you that at the time of the Prophet there was no Injil. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yes, but here's my, my response. You keep telling me what you believe. I have no issue with what you believe. I want to know what is true. And by that, I want to see evidence because you can believe in there was a book for the Injil, but I'm asking what is the evidence we have that supports that claim? Because the only reason why you make that claim is because of the, um, the Quran. So, there's a saying, for example, they'll say, if you follow the evidence, it will lead you to Christianity. If you- Whoa, no, let me finish. No, no. 
if you if you believe in Islam, you have to obfuscate the evidence to support the religion. And the reason why I'll validate that is because I'm asking what is who was the original community with the original Injil? What language was it in? We keep I keep getting answers. I don't know. We I you, I hear you affirming that you believe in the original Torah or the original Injil, but I have no evidence as to what it is, and I can't just go on what you believe. Okay. I'm asking to well, let's, let's make it. Let's make it simple. Here is the answer. Yeah, no. Do you right. want the answer? Yes. You haven't got an Injil now. Now you haven't got. Now now you haven't got. Okay. This is the time where where would be where would be where, with where, with all mm. the. The, the fancy gadgets and that yes. you still haven't got the Injil. So, what you have got, right. what you have got, an Injil, gospels yes. according to so, according okay. to so, according to so. Do you know that even the Torah, even the Torah is unknown authors? So Genesis, it's not what Moses said. The, 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 um, Deuteronomy, it's not Leviticus, it's not Numbers, it's not. Mm. But none of this, none of the five books, the Septuagint, none of them is the author, unknown author, so, unknown author. You know that even your four Gospels, Mark is not the one. You, I, I studied with, I studied with Bart Ehrman and others. So I know, and I can give you, I can give you evidence that Mark is not, Matthew is not. Who do you think he is? That Luke is not. Uh, who, uh, John is not. But you see what I mean. Even now, and this is the answer to your question. Even now, you haven't got the Injil because if you have it, bring it to us, and so, then we'll be Christians so, so wait, wait, wait. Okay. okay. What was in the original Injil? The teachings. Laws, laws. What like, laws? Yeah. For example, as and again, mm. I'll go to the Quran okay. because uh, there were things that were made impermissible, yeah. for example, for the Jews. Yeah, but give so me the specifics. No, no, Allah I, didn't I, I, give I us the specifics. So now, uh, allow okay, me, you right. ask me a question. Okay. When you ask oh, me, please yes. allow me to finish. Right. Yeah? For example, it would be in it the oneness of God, like the Shema of Israel. Uh, uh, this was in it, yeah, this. It will be, it will be in it, it will be in it, it will be also like uh, uh, dietary laws like the Sabbath and, and, and after. Because in the Quran it says, in chapter number three, it said, and to make allowable some of the things that were made disallowable for you. Because when the children of Israel, they have sinned against God, God to punish them has made certain things unallow unallowable to them. So disallowed to them. So when Jesus was sent, peace be upon Alayhi him, salam. He came to confirm the Torah, to confirm the Torah like it is. I, I didn't come to, um, to, uh, to abolish the law, to abolish the law. I, I but I fulfill. came to, and then he goes, and then he goes about not a dot, not a single thing will right. be. So all of this, what is it? You did, uh, you did absolutely against it. So he mm. came, as I said, with dietary, dietary, but, with the oneness of God and these things. Yeah. But again, so. If we look at the Bible, does it does Jesus, as your the other person said, yeah. that Jesus prayed to the Father? So yeah. therefore, that goes against goes this with what you were saying. So it goes with what you were saying was in the original Injil. Okay. Jesus also said, "It's not what okay. goes in your mouth that defiles okay. a man, okay. but what comes out is defiles yeah. a man." Yeah. So then that goes with your original Injil. Okay. Okay. So I'm saying then, okay, the Father, well, let me no, just no, finish no, no. your okay. interruption. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, so sorry. I'm okay. now saying. If you just still disagree, you would have to give me specific evidence of what the teaching was <laughs> of okay. Jesus. Because I've given you examples of the two things you believe was in the original okay. Injil to show me that the original Injil is not what we have. Because okay. if you say okay. it's not what we have today, you have to provide evidence to show what was in it so we can then see that there was a that's different a Injil man, that came out with a different a man, Injil. That's like beating up a dead uh, donkey. Course, yeah. No, because no. You, it's like me, you can't say. That's oh, not the me, injil. Then me. I ask you, let why me. is it the injil? I, I've I don't been know. You. So I've how been would you know? No, no, no. I've been telling you. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't I say to you? Didn't I say to right. you? For example, when a man came to the uh, uh, a man came to Jesus and he said to him, "Good man," he said, "For what they are calling me good? There is none good except God." So this is, for example, it goes with the teaching, the Islamic teaching. We'll take it. We'll agree with it. Mm -hmm. You see, I've given you example the Shema of Israel. No, allow me. Allow me to finish, please. I've given you that. The dietary thing, we go, we go by it because we know that circumcision was not abolished at the time of Jesus. We know that the, the pig was not eaten at the time of Jesus. We know all other things. 
let me just interject you there. Now, you've made a contradiction because well, why you said that Jesus didn't come to change the law according to them. Yeah. Law. But, but the you, pig wasn't, what, what was but disallowed? Then you, but then you've also the said that disallowed. the Quran says that Jesus made halal what was haram. Yeah. So then, I mean, he some, the law. No, 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 no. Some of the... Yeah, but you, no, can't say that, you can't appeal to Jesus saying, I've come not to change the law. That also says that he did change some no, of the No, no, no. No, no, that's See not what's written. Right. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's not what's it. written. That's not what's written. Well, you have it. What is written? It says, "I have not come to abolish." Right. Abolish. That's not different change. to change. Not change. That's oh. different to change. Wait, wait, wait. So wow. You agree? What's abolish? Come on, man. This is English. It's basic. I just want to get this clear. To abolish something is wait. to get rid of it. So you believe that Jesus did change the law? Oh, not did. change completely. We the law. No problem. Because the reason why I'm saying it is because the in this part. I don't care about. No, we don't care about what Muslims say. We're I'm talking about the evidence. Look, 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 hang on, hang on. Like, just so people paper are aware. Boy, paper no, boy. Come Let on, me man. tell you one thing. Yes. When you're discussing with me, yeah, yeah, yeah. you discuss with me. That's what I was clarifying. For example, if you discuss with Mansour, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you discuss, yeah, yeah. that's you what you discuss with right, Mansour. Okay. No. You're aware, Mansour. But, but, says no, 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 no. Okay. It's not. I'm aware. I'm not. I'm not. Don't put my words in my mouth. But Mansour is the one who says stuff like that. No, no, no. Listen. If Mansour says that, then you pick it up with Mansour. What I say, I'm responsible for what I'm saying. But I tell you what. Okay. Hear me out now. Yeah, yeah. Whatever Mansour says, I second it. Whatever Mansour says, I say the same as Mansour said. I will never put my brother, because Mansour is a learned person. Yeah, but he says, says Jesus that. Didn't change the law. You're saying he changed If he says that, that he must have, no. If yeah. he says that, right. he must have seen it somewhere and he would have evidence for but it. But you're appealing to it. So then you no, can No, no, what I'm that saying, statement. what I'm telling you, what right. I'm telling you, as far as I'm concerned, right. And my understanding, yes. and my teaching, and my what, what I've learned, what my teachers have taught me, and that, right. that, and the Quran, in the Quran, and as I said to you, you can hold me down to the Quran. You can't hold me down to the Bible. In the Quran, it says, in the Quran, it says, and to make allowable for you some permissible some yeah. of the things that were made. Impermissible. Right. Impermissible for right. you. So, Some. So, so not not all not all of it. Because we know we know that when the when uh, when the Jews they made the the, the golden calf yeah. and they did a few things and mm -hmm. that. So God has absolutely punished them by making certain things disallowed for them. So when Jesus came, he came to to take them. Right. To take them. So, so no, no, you go. You okay, go. so this is why I'm confused because are you then saying by the time that the Quran was revealed to your prophet that the Jews so and the Christians had corrupt books? <coughs> yes. Or they, yes. Yes. So, yes. So when yes. the Quran says that they should be able to find Muhammad within their books, yes. how would they find uh, one, Muhammad in a corrupt book and two, if the book is corrupt, why would they then believe that Muhammad was a prophet if the book is corrupt? Oh, okay, okay. The reason why, as I say to you, and I say it to you again, right. I will say it to you again, whatever conforms with the Quran, we accept. No, I'm saying the Christians. The Christians, no, you, you yeah, see, I'm saying oh. I don't know how to explain it. No, but listen it. to what I'm saying. I'm no, saying... No, no, no. No, no, no. no but but listen, just stop. No, stop for a second. Stop for a second. Okay, wait, wait, just, wait, no, no, wait. just stop for a second. Okay, wait. Stop for I'm a second. Repeat my no, no, stop for a second, okay? Right. Because you are conflating so much, it's unbelievable, okay? Allah, Allah mentions. Uh, 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 yeah, let me try. Let me try. Inshallah. Hey, Someone explain okay, my right. point and then respond okay. to it. No, I'm just going to respond to it. No, but okay. respond what my, what my point is. Because You're I, saying because uh, if the books were corrupted, right. why are we appealing to it to find uh, the description I'm of Horus Isis? No, no, no. I'm saying the Christians at the time. The, the, the Christians now. don't. The Christians don't believe it's corrupted, though, innit? So the so, Christians didn't believe it was corrupted. So yes, that's what my question Right, is. but Allah, look, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, right? Okay. In, in some, several verses of the Quran, so chapter 10, verse 94, mm -hmm. yeah? Allah says, what do you call it? If you are in doubt uh, about what, what was revealed to Muhammad, yeah. salam, then ask those who read the scripture. Not that ask the people of the book, a lot of people make this so mistake. Which scripture? Scripture. Ask the people who read the scripture. Which scripture? All yeah, I'm asking what Come on, that, man. I'm asking what the definition is. The Torah and the Injil, the Torah and the Injil, well, and right? The Psalms, and, the and the Psalms. And the Psalms, okay. and the Zabur, right? Those are the scriptures, okay? Right. So those who read the scriptures. And Yukra'una, when, 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 in the Arabic, when it says Yukra'una, yes. it doesn't just mean just 
just reading. reading. It's about those who have those who have scribes. the knowledge, knowledge of knowledge. yeah. Right. So, my so hence why, oh, let me finish, man. Yeah, I'm just clarifying so you can put in your answer. I, so my question was, I know what I'm talking about. Are, are those scriptures corrupt? So that's what I'm yes, asking. Yes, yes, yeah, I know that. Okay, okay. Right. so this is one of the verses, right? right? The other verses, I would call it as as mentioned, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, you will find his description in the Torah and the Injil. Okay, mm -hmm. that is with them. Okay, so that, that is with them. So that okay. Was preserved. No, it doesn't say that it was preserved. It says that is with them. It doesn't say no, in the Torah and the Injil that was revealed. The Prophet Muhammad were preserved, is what I'm saying. Oh, but okay, yeah. So the description of the Rasul will okay. be thing. Now, let's make something cl clear here. We are not saying that the description of the Rasul is verbatim as, as it was revealed. We say no. the description is there, but the words might be slightly different to how they were originally it's revealed. Like, like, uh, no, no, give him the, oh, the, give him the Surah Al Fatih, Ahmed. Yes, and in chapter Surah yeah, in chapter sixty one, yes, Surah Al Saf, and in chapter sixty one, verse six, when uh, Isa alayhi salam, and a lot of Christians make this mistake. They say, "Where is he in the Bible?" It actually yeah. doesn't say that. It says that Mubashram Jesus said Surah, that yeah. Jesus said, give glad "I will give you, I give you glad tidings of a prophet after me, whose name will be Ahmed." Okay, so this is what is something said, and Christians assume that it will be written. We're like, well, that's not what the verse says. No, hold on a second. The praised one. It's yes. Like Muhammad. Well, we so these the are a couple of verses. Hold yeah, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have these are no evidence of any Christian community making. Oh, hands, yeah, no, but this is, but that's the point. The Quran doesn't say it's written. He says he said it. I said there's no. The, claim no, no, no. Any right, listen, that clear. listen. We, written. you acknowledge that the Bible. I think I can't remember what passage it is, mm. but it mentions that not everything Jesus said was written, right? I said, yeah. I okay, said, so there is that acknowledgement. That was my contention. My contention was there was no Christian community between then or made a claim. Sort of that we are not saying. Like that. But we are not appealing. Written. We are not appealing to that. We are not appealing to that. We're just saying this is what Jesus said. And when you don't have everything that yeah, Jesus but you said, said written Christians down. Say it's written. I said we haven't every. You said. Uh, no, 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 I said. I said some. I said some Christians have, said, you, have, have claimed so, that it's written. Sorry, I'm saying this is a mistake. No. Do you agree? Do you agree? I don't want this that, anymore. At, at the beginning, at the beginning, you had, you had. Well, I don't know where to put it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. You sure? Jazakallah khair, bro. You're doing jihad now. When you say, when you say, oh, we don't have any. I can refer you to the Ibanites. I can refer you to the. No, 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 no. They were Christian sects. They didn't believe in the resurrection. It doesn't matter, but they were heretics, Christians. You right. could call them heretics, but, but can, they were the Nazarenes. Yeah. The Nazarenes. Yeah. They're heretics. You can call them, you can yeah. call them heretics no because they disbelieve. But we know what they yeah. believe. Because they, yeah. We know what they believe, yeah. but you we are you are calling believe. them heretics because you've picked up a certain creed. That's why you call them heretics. But they came much earlier than your creed. Your, we have your, the Bible that tells us what they're. What do you think they had? Believe. They had they had Bibles. No, they didn't. Yes, they did they have did. scripture. The yes, they have the Gospel of the Ebionites. They, they, oh my what, days, really? What is, the, what is the earliest gospel? Okay, listen. What is the, the earliest gospel is Matthew Mark. Was, no, 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 no. Q was before. Q, Q was before. Q, James was Q, before. Q was saying. How come you said, said, said the Ebionites yeah. had the earliest Bible? The Ebionites. There is bits of the Q. Of the Q gospel. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, listen, listen. Q is a hybrid. No, no, no. Let me get back to Let me get back to what I was saying. Let me get back to what I was saying. Next week, bring me the Q is hypothesized. Yalla. Because all I'm saying that you're, no one's bringing me Allah. evidence. It's conjecture after no, 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 it's not conjecture after conjecture. We have. Okay, listen. Okay, so like, as mentioned, as mentioned, let's go back to the point so we're not thinking. As mentioned to you, okay, this is what the Quran says, okay, regarding the description of the Rasul. Nowhere, and in terms of the. Nowhere does it mention that any of the books that it's appealing to are preserved. Verbatim, as it was, as it was revealed. So this is why it says. Uh, they were corrupted. No, it does. Where the corruption is very clear. Where does okay. It say the gospels is corrupted. In chapter five, verse thirteen and fourteen. Okay. Right, so. Um, so it doesn't say the crosses are corrupted. Watch it. It doesn't. No, I'm gonna re re double check. Okay. You know. So, you Okay. This is in the Arabic. Okay. Now, what is um, what you call? What we're saying is. That the books that is being appealed to, it says that is with them. It doesn't say that is which is revealed. It says that is which which is with them. Which means the description of Rasul Sallam is with the books that you have, right? Even today. So that is what is um, being appealed to, and that is where where it aligns with the Quran. That's what we're saying. We are not saying that those parts are preserved verbatim, even. Okay, but the meanings and the description that is you can find them. Chapter five, verse thirteen. Yes. So it says, and because. And it's speaking about the children of Israel. Let me show you. Let me, and not the, la, 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 la. Come on. 
Yeah, but let me read it. And verse 14. Verse 13 yeah, and 14. I'll read it. Hold on. Okay. Because it starts, verse 12 talks, starts with the children of Israel. So it says, and because of their breaking of their covenant. Yeah, exactly. He, it's not, he doesn't know the Arabic. Yet. Ben Yisrael. Ben Yisrael. Yeah, we're talking about the people of the gospel. Oh, we're talking about the people of so does it talk about the, the Najarai? We're talking about the yeah. Israel. Thank you. That's, yeah, we know that's that. The Jews. That's said, verse 13. I asked him where it says that. Uh, oh, is it verse 13 the, the or 14? Read. Read. No, but Read. 13 is the continuation. Yeah, okay. Right. So now. He did that to me exactly. earlier. No, no, no. I, I, and I, and I exactly. called him and he. I have so a history. He said, he said he's agreed. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. He's an Arabic speaker. So am I. So am I. So am I. Now there we go. I know, I know. لا 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 من من هنا من هنا فاهم من هنا؟ إيه أدري من هنا. إيوه. He's agreeing with me. You're dishonest. يتكلم عن مين؟ No, because you agree with him. And you say I'm. لا 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 هذا هذا على المسيحين لأنهم لا شوف لأنه بني. ما نقضهم ميثاقهم. هاي قاعد يتكلم عن مين؟ إيوه هذا على المسيحيين. لا 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 تعرف ليه؟ الأساس لا 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 الآية الذي قبل لا شوف شوف الآية الذي قبل بني إسرائيل هم هم من هم الذي أرسل عليه إليهم عيسى عليه السلام فهم الذي هم الذي شوف في ومن الذين قالوا إن نصارى وهذا بني لا نصارى هم من بني إسرائيل أيوة وهم من من بني إسرائيل عشان كذا You're right. Okay. Five. Not 13, it's 14 that matters. Yeah, I know, I know, but 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 I know, لا لا عارف. إلا عارف هو عارف. كذا بعليك. دائما. لا 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 it's a form of corruption. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Isn't it? It, wait, wait, wait. Let me. You're, you're so twisted. Listen, but, but let, let, let me ask you something. Let me ask you a question. And you tell me, oh, I'm gonna let, omit this let, part. Let me. Let me. If ask you something. omit this part, is then it not corrupted ask, now? Does it say they? La la la. Shuf, no. This is why I said no. La la la. No. This is why it says yeah. يحرفون الكلام عن مواضعه هذا لا 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 هذا النصارى إلا إلا لا لا عشان كذا هذا من لا 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 how does that demonstrate that the original injury was corrupted? <laughs> that the original... Well, that he said we don't have it. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't have it. Do you have it? Do you have it? Saying yes, that. we do. Where is it? No, you don't have it. It's, it's no, no, you, you don't have it. You don't have it. Okay, look. I'm, I'm asking you. Paper boy. You can't provide Paper me boy. Any no, no. About, I'm giving you the evidence. Here. I'm asked, where where is the the I know. This is where it says. Now here. Because I can even. Go Surah Al-Maidah. Al-Maidah. Ayah. Okay. Means uh, so corruption of words. Yeah. It doesn't mean the corruption of text. And I've got scholars that I can refer to them. And that text doesn't. Very broad. Yeah, but that's it. Yes. Yeah, Talat Ashur. So, we may not have known in the context of the Quran. Yeah, we are on the road to the Quran. Yeah, we are on the road to the Quran. Yeah, we are on the road to the Quran. Yeah, we are on the road to the Quran. Yeah, we are on the road to the Quran. Yeah, we are on the road to the Quran. Yeah, we are on the road to the Quran. Yeah, we are on the road to the Quran. Yeah, we are on the road to the Quran. Yeah, we are on the فنسوا فنسوا ايوه ف... فيعني بني اسرائيل هم ايوه لانه يص... سموا لانه بعض من بني اسرائيل سموا نفوسهم نصارى فهذا 
اي نعم فهنا على في 13 يقول على بني اسرائيل هم النصارى لا عشان كذا قال هنا نسوا وفي 14 يقول فنسوا هذا كذا فسروها understand exactly what he's saying yeah so here get the point, yeah? so here chapter chapter 13 right sorry chapter 13 first chapter 5 verse 13 so if we look here yeah it says uh what do you call it you have so this is what i'm gonna explain right when nasu i don't know he says when nasu and they forgot okay right now here it's referring to yeah what's he referring to Bani Israel. Okay, now, okay, no, shoof, shoof. FM, my right. Okay? Now, now, but then it goes on to chapter 14. Uh, sorry, verse 14. وَمِنَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّا نَصَارَ Okay, so some of them have called themselves Christians. But then what does it say? Okay? فَنَسُوا Alright? This is the connection here between verse 13 and verse 14. Because they distorted, because these people distorted the, the words, they distorted the words. They distorted the words. The, text. the words. Okay, so I made a I made a video about I made a video about this. Okay, um, responding to David Wood's argument. So watch that because I break down these verses. Okay, so you here. Right. In the Arabic language, it refers to two parts: the meaning and the words themselves in terms of writing. That is what you tahrif means. Okay. So it covers both. So you agree with him? Okay. I mean, I've got scholars. I no, no, from from an from a linguistic. You are, you, you're neutral. You were, you were from, reading from, it before. From the Arabic language. Yes, because now I'm explaining. Because now I'm explaining to you from the Arabic language. So you here uh, over here says al kalam al muadhi. Okay, from their places. So here, in the in the Quran, is referring to the the words themselves being moved from their places. Okay. Okay, and they forgot. Now here, remember, at the end of the day, Jesus came to preach to who? The children of Israel. So in verse 12, when it's referring to the children of Israel, but they, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Were referred to as differently afterwards. No. Yes. Because I no because no 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 because the this is later. I'm talking about this is talking about uh, the, the, the those who call themselves Christians and those who call themselves Christians they were Jews. Yeah, and hence why they were called Nasara. Right? Because again, it's talking about the covenant. Okay? And the previous verse talks about the covenant. And it was only the Jewish uh, people that were given the covenant uh, from, uh, that, from um, Jesus, peace be upon him. And they distorted the words and they forgot. And these are the same people that called themselves Nasara, Christians. So when we're talking about Bani Israel and the Christians, they are one and the same. They are one and the same. Because it separates them. No, it it's no, to... because over here it says, <laughs> So they call themselves Christians, but they are from the children of Israel, but they've titled themselves Nasara. They've called themselves Christians. How is, how is that different to them actually being Christians? No, because they, they call claim, themselves, it's because it's no, the no, claim, no. They, this is a title I they've given themselves. So it says, Christians judged by the gospel, they didn't call them, say, this is referring. This is referring to the Injil. This is referring to the corruption of the Injil. This is referring to the corruption of the Injil. What, what are you saying here to? I, I don't follow what you're saying, brother. To be honest, with you. that's you. fine. Well, well, this I'm is not saying you're, look. I'm, look at it. The way it reads to me. Okay. Yeah. The way it reads. I'm a Muslim, by the way. I know that. But I'm just saying. You. All I'm saying is the way this reads naturally to me. It says. This part is referring to one group of people. No, no, no. This is referring to a different group of people. No. Oh, yeah, sure. This part covers both Tahrir and Nisyan. This part is only referring to Nisyan. No, 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 no. no. Otherwise, no, you no, might no, 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 no,
انا 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 صويت ايوه هذا على النصارى لا 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 ما في ما في ما في ما في غير هذه ما في غير هذه وكذا انا انا حتى انا عملت فيديو على هذا على الايات هذا هذه وجبت احاديث على هذه وتفسير على هذا عشان كذا انا اعرف الذي انا اعطيته Of course you'll agree with that. He's doing. Watch my video on this. He is doing. I'm not a scholar. No, I'm not. He's twisting the meaning of the Quran. Really? He twisted the meaning. Yeah. The preservation of well, the corruption of the gospel. So I brought him a verse, and he's arguing with me about it. I'm explaining it to him from the Arabic language. What is actually being said? Islam's perfection. I tell you why. The corruption of the Indian. So chapter five. Some scholars disagree on the meaning. Yeah. So he can have his own meaning. No, all that stuff. Yeah. Now. But there's a group of scholars don't agree. Yeah, but not Arabs. An Arab. An Arab. This is not. Contradicting the Quran when you say that the word. No, no, no. I don't. 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 I First and foremost, mm. well, you have to understand. I said to you, this was uh, embodied, body, yes. yeah? Okay, fine, no problem. However, wait, just for everyone to hear, do we agree that Hadith, Aisha says that she saw his body? No. He wasn't even, when he went on the Miraj, he wasn't even at her house. Okay. He wasn't uh, even at her what, house. What, what okay. Do you think that Hadith says? No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to find it out. No, it. okay, so she doesn't say he was, uh, what do you call it, so, lying next to her. He doesn't say that. She doesn't say that. So she doesn't actually say that. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I be what do you call paperboy? I know what the hadith. See how he's digressing. Don't let him. Wait, wait, wait. Challenge him, him. him. So what does the hadith say? And I'm gonna find. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. What do you call it? I don't know it by, by heart. I know what it what says. You, what but what I'm get? saying is, Summarize. okay. So I'm gonna find it. So she so says. I'm asking him, yeah, I'm asking him to. So he said. That the night journey was bodily. Yes. I said I have a hadith which okay. goes against his no, claim. No, 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 no. Okay, he no, said no. he knows the hadith. Yes. So I'm asking him what does he think the okay, hadith so says. The, so when I bring the hadith... You're talking about when she, said, when she talks about him, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, that it was um, a, a spiritual experience. You know? It wasn't done by... It was wasn't still there. Mm -hmm. She said his body was still there. He wasn't. He, when he went on the night journey, he didn't even leave from well, her I house. The hadith, I should make he the didn't. His body. That was okay. First and foremost, that was her. That was her opinion. Okay. okay. Secondly, so we, okay. secondly, he wasn't even at her house when uh, because this event happened. Uh, what do you call it? He was at the uh, at the house of his. Uh, I can't remember. Um, I can't remember whose house he was. At, he was at, but he wasn't in the house of Aisha when he left for uh, for Jerusalem. That's the first thing. Secondly, uh, actually, the second thing should have been the first thing. In Surah Al uh, Surah Al Isra, uh, Allah mentions that He took His servant, okay, and Abdihi, right? This is talking about in in bodily form as well. He took His servant, okay. This includes the body and the soul. So in the in the Quran, this is mentioned. Abu Bakr al Siddiq. And how many people witnessed? Abu Bakr al Siddiq. No one witnessed. Right. This, so this okay? is why I'm saying so, his claim was. That so no, no. Was a liar. So I said I have evidence to prove that Muhammad was a liar. So his claim was the Quran says that Muhammad it was a body ex bodily experience. Not necessarily. I don't think it was. Bodily. No, but let me just finish. But, that, but, that, saying, but that's I, fine because I, I, the scholars, saying, the, the scholars have saying, different. I'm yeah, saying I reject. Different. I know the scholars I'm different. I reject your claim just because the Quran said it. Because that's why I said, was there any eyewitnesses who claim it? So if the Quran. No, says, but it was tested afterwards. Okay. First and foremost. Okay. Right. Let's look at the evidence. Yes. Let's look at the evidence. Okay. First and foremost, the Quran says he, it was a bodily experience because when it says Ab, okay, Ab is talking about a person. This includes the body and the soul. Okay. That's a, that's the first thing. Secondly, the Aisha was not a witness of him being in the same uh, in the house with her. Okay. She wasn't. He wasn't at the house. Thirdly, okay, um, when uh, Rasul came back and, the, and Quraysh. Uh, questioning on me and it, because they were mocking him. They're like, what do you mean you, you weren't there? He described it to them. He described the gates and everything. Right. And even the historians, 
And the reason we know, right? The reason we, we know. Actually, we, we, you, yes, and we know there was no temple in Jerusalem at the time. So how could he? No, we know. No, 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 no. We said Masjid al Aqsa. We said Masjid al Aqsa. Okay. Yeah, but you said Masjid. He described the, okay. The, the, no, he described the gates uh, in, uh, into Jerusalem. He described the doors and everything. Those the existed. That didn't exist. No. The, see, the thing is, you don't even know what Masjid okay, al-Aqsa right. is. Right. Masjid al-Aqsa is what existed at the time. We're not talking about the Dome of the Rock. That's not Masjid al-Aqsa. Yeah, you said you visited the Temple That's, of Jerusalem. The, the Temple of Jerusalem is Masjid al-Aqsa. Right. The Dome of the Rock is completely different. I know. That, right, what I'm okay. saying is that the Temple so the of gates, Jerusalem no, was the destroyed gates existed. in 70 AD. No, the gates, the gates remained. Okay, he no, no, no. Temple. you agree that he described. The what did, what did he remain? Yeah, what? you said the people mocked him. So the temple. Okay, the when temple I'm talking, okay, like. when we're talking. Today, when we message, no, today when we message, visit Masjid Al Aqsa. Right. Okay, we are not talking about the temple that went upwards. Okay, Masjid Al Aqsa, there was remnants of it, which go underground. Okay, under the Temple Mount. Okay, that is what's being referred to. Okay, so the people were mocking him, and he described the gate that was still remaining. The, yeah, and the thing is, how did we know? No, no, because how do we know? How do we know that Masjid Al Aqsa existed at the time? Because when Omar ibn Khattab anhu entered Jerusalem, he was with Sophronius, and Sophronius didn't want to show him Masjid Al Aqsa, and he showed him place to place, and he kept saying, "That's not it." And when he found it, what did Umar ibn Khattab said? He said, I recognized it from the description of a Rasul And when did the Rasul describe it? He described it when he was challenged by Quraysh. So that's how he knew that that was 14 years before that. Now, let me respond, let me respond to what he's saying. And I want everyone Suleiman. to, I want everyone Suleiman, to, 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 to check mm. this out, I'm all responding. So, mm. my uh. claim is that there is a hadith where Aisha says that his body never left. So he that's refuted why what you said actually. That's why there honest. is a disagreement between whether it was bodily or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that there's a claim that he's alive because Aisha said that his body was there. Then he said... Where? Where? Body was said, where? Huh? Where was his body? Uh, in, in, the, in the house. Right? No, the, don't lie. She doesn't say that. Oh, yeah. She doesn't say he was in the house because I he wasn't even in the house. I'm saying, this yeah, is her I'm opinion. Saying, yeah, I'm saying. I agree with you. This is her, her opinion. No, she saw his body. She didn't. No, she no, doesn't no, say no, that. No, she, she does not say that. So what did she say? She doesn't say that. Read it. You read it. No, no, no. You bring it up. Read it. Okay. Let me bring the evidence. Okay, you man. All right. I'm going off memory. You're coming. Look. Come on, paper boy. You're coming to me with Islam. You're not going. This is not going to happen. All right, I got you. Mm. In any case, though, I know. Anyway, I guess Look, I know. You that. know that I'm educated I on your book. Don't, don't think that I won't be educated on mine as well. I don't think it was bodily anyway. Yeah, I know. But so it's a moot Look, point. You're not no, 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 no. This is no. an area of disagreement. Some people interpret it this way. Some people no, no, interpret it that way. No, no, no. I don't no, agree with you. لا 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 في اختلاف في اختلاف لا 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 في اختلاف بس بس في اختلاف بين العلماء عندما عندما if we agree about this اه نعم he has to bring a proof that where she Aisha actually said that his body was there was there with her with her with her with her he has to bring it yeah exactly that's why I always tell him that's a separate one yeah yeah now the thing is I'm just saying separately yeah but the ulama the ulama and that there is disagreement about no 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 but whether it was no but but شوف أبو بكر الصديق رضي الله عنه متى سمى الصديق متى سمى الصديق سمى الصديق لما قال على الرسول عليه لو قال استوى سوى يعني هو قال صدق صدق لأن الرسول عليه السلام قال إن إنه هو راح بدني بديا لا 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 ما في اختلاف على 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 هذا على المسألة هذه الاختلاف يجي بسبب الحديث هذا بسبب حديث عائشة لأن هي هي قالت إنه هو هو راح بالمنام فكذا بعض العلماء قالوا راح بالمنام بس عائشة هذا تأويل عائشة رضي الله عنها هي ما رأت الرسول عليه السلام بدأ بدأ بجنبها في المنام ما رأت لم لم رأت لم ترى لم تقل أنها رأته أساسا إيوه لم تقل إيوه على لفظيا عشان كذا عشان كذا جمهور العلماء قالوا انه انه استوى بديا بدني صح بدني بدني الحمد لله قلت يعني ام ايتن ساوند رايت اي واز لايك اي ام نوت سينج ذس رايت بدني بدني يا 
since it shows the sincerity that you have in trying mm. to say it as well, mm. enough for us. Yeah, alhamdulillah. But for him, he has to be sincere and bring the proof. Yes, exactly. <laughs> he won't find it. He'll he will never find it. it. The cameras, wait, wait, wait. The cameras wait, wait, wait. will run I out. Time. I, don't, I don't have a hadith, I've got from Ibn Ishaq. Arabic, no, Arabic, no, no, not English. English, read Arabic. I've already got English. <laughs> Because you're asking me for a quick okay. reference, so... No, but I we do need... Say, from Ibn Ishaq, yes. this is what it says. It says, Um Abu Talib's daughter said that Apostle went on no journey except whilst... Wait, 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 he, he that's not a problem. House. That's not a problem for us. Wait, wait, let me just finish reading it. You asked for the evidence. He slept in my home that night after he prayed the final night prayer. A little before dawn, he woke us saying, Oh, Um, I went to Jerusalem. He got up... He got up to go out and I grabbed hold of his rope and I laid, laid bare his belly. I pleaded, O oh, Muhammad, don't tell the people about this for they know, will know you are lying and will mock you. He said, my Allah, I will tell them I told a Negro slave of my following him and listen. Okay. So, so where did she say that she said that she saw with him the body, yeah? So, so, it doesn't say that. Does it, does it say that? Mm. So, so does that apply she, said, she said that I, woke, I saw him, I, I saw him awake. Awa Talib's he daughter said, in my yeah, the <laughs> apostle went on no night journey except whilst he was in my house. He slept in my house. Except, that night wait, after went on no, went on no, on no night journey except, except while he was in my, my house, which means he went, he went on a, here, it's the only time he went on a night journey. Thank you. But here's the thing. I love it when you bring no, our sources. No, here's, here's I thing. love it. But this yes, is the yes, point. Yeah. The yes. source yes. doesn't mean he saw his body leave because if it was a bodily she didn't see it exactly. she didn't say neither the exactly. other side as well so the, so this is why <laughs> yeah but this is why for example so, people so the hadith of Aisha no 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 but the thing yeah, is because they recognize that this yeah. this saying no, they say his not, body was still there yeah. so it must have been uh, a spirit no 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 she doesn't say that she does not say that at all she doesn't make the claim it was a spiritual journey yes yeah Aisha does Aisha does I'm saying why do the scholars because of the hadith of Aisha because of the what? hadith of Aisha, because what? she says that it was uh, that, uh, because he was uh, he didn't go bodily. That's what she says. Right. But this is her explanation. And as you proved, because I brought this up before you brought this source, yeah. that he wasn't in her house on that night. Right. So how would she know? You're appealing to a hadith of Aisha when she had no knowledge of where he was because he so, wasn't even in her house. So now we have you have a drink Aisha. a little bit. La 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 la! I don't know. I'm done with that. Uh, it's, it's got a weird taste. It's not the yeah, coffee I'm used to. What it is? It's a different. Is no, 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 Habibi. Uh, he goes to the temple of Jerusalem. Yeah, just a uh, in May Allah you reward you. Alhamdulillah. Right? 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 People are mocking him himself. and he counts Inshallah. the doors and the windows on the temple. <laughs> Not, but how, hold on. Whoa, 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 what windows? Jerusalem. What windows? He doesn't Which describe windows? in the... Okay, let's see the source of what Another it says. Another proof that you will bring let's and will be refuted. All right, let's see what it says. Paper boy, come on. Let's see what he said he saw. Every point you bring is getting refuted, bro. Right. Come on. He's, he's trying to other. prove. He's trying to prove that Rasulullah has lied. Will, he has not brought that he evidence. He will never prove it. <laughs> he will never. There's nothing. I'm There's nothing there. Wait, he on. tried to. Bring, he tried to bring about the paper. He doesn't understand it. Don't understand the, what's going on there. He's now tried to bring a Isra wal Mi'raj, saying that. But well, we're saying he went um, bodily. Uh, there is no evidence contrary to that. Okay. If anything, the evidence, the evidence points to that, which is why the majority of the scholars, and that's why even his. Uh, the references that he's bringing forward doesn't show that it was done in the sleep. Abu Bakr as Sadiq was known as a Sadiq because of this night journey. What is going on? There you have nothing. Abu Jahl himself. Abu Jahl, you came for. You come 1445 years later to make a claim. To make a. I've given him chances. You know that. You know I've given him chances. But um, Abu Jahl, the one who wanted to kill him. So the, that knew him so intimately, been, never so called him a liar. It says, I remember being in Al Hijra, so it doesn't say the doors, but it says, what? It says I, 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 describe. I remember being in Al Hijra and the Quraysh were asking me about the night journey. Yes, and Allah put it in front of him. Bait al Maqdis, that, al -Maqdis I, now. Sure that, bait al -Maqdis yeah. that I was not sure of. Yes. And I felt more anxious and stressed. Yeah, and Allah presented it in front of me. He had seen the um, temple, we forgot. Then Allah raised up Bait al Maqdis. Yeah, in front of him. Sea, yep. And there was nothing they asked me about it that I told them about. Not. Yeah. So he, Allah has apparently. Yeah. Where did the windows come point, from? Your point, your point, your yeah. so point. Your point. Where, where did it say it? Yeah, so my point is that he's recalling mm. a temple. I don't think so. To answer I think, question. By the way, it says Bait al Maqdis. Yeah, yeah. Bait al Maqdis. It's not the same as Masjid al No one's saying it's Masjid al 
That's the Temple of Jerusalem, right? That's Jid al Aqsa is the Temple of David, which is what's the part of yeah. the yeah. yeah. mm. That's the message of the This is Bait al Maqdis. Bait al Maqdis is Jerusalem. So when it says. They so asked him, that's yeah, what when, the when, gates, when, huh? what did you say about, about Jerusalem? Jerusalem? So you're saying, yeah. Beit Hence Amat the gates. Asking him about Jerusalem. Correct. And the gates were standing. And he couldn't remember. Because he said, I went to Jerusalem. And then I said, okay, tell us about Jerusalem. So in the Quran, when it's, where did it, does it say he went? Chapter 17. The 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 yeah. Yeah. But let's, this is in context of the Quran. The and Arabic and Arabic Masjid Al-Aqsa. Where does it say he went to Masjid Al-Aqsa? No, no, no. 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 No, and night time, and night time. And it was physical. Leyland. And it was, and it was the physical mosque, the physical location, right? Yeah. You went to Beit Amani. Yeah, 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 okay. That was there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it was there. Yes. Yeah, that's my point. He was there. He was there. That's and what it, we're saying. And it, so he, who, the, who refuted that wait, point? Wait, it's the, in the Quran. Okay. No let me, let me bring, say it again. When you bring a did source, he, did he go to the furthest mosque? Is that what, that's what it calls it. He said to yeah, to the, the furthest mosque, which is Masjid Al Aqsa. Was that a literal building? Or was that Jerusalem? No, as he the explained gates, to you, Beit al Maqdis is Jerusalem, okay? Masjid al Aqsa, in the Quran, it mentions Masjid al Aqsa, okay? Which so that is. Later. No, it was not oh. built later. Oh. Masjid al Aqsa right. is the mosque of, so of Solomon, is the mosque of King okay. Solomon, right. okay? So it so wasn't built saying, later. That's why we're making a distinction. A lot of Christians, and this is for your cameras as well, right? right? There's a distinction between Masjid al Aqsa and the Dome of the Rock, okay? Mm -hmm. Even today, when the Muslims go to pray, they make a distinction between going to pray in the Dome of the Rock and the Masjid al-Aqsa. The Masjid al-Aqsa is on the eastern side yeah, of Temple Mount. That is, what it, that is what it's referring to. Okay, That was existing in the 7th century. The actual mosque. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Dome of the Rock. I've actually got this. Oh, you got something else to dig yourself with? Have you got something else to dig yourself with? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, this is from... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is from Ibn Saad. So it says... In relation to that point, yeah. I stood at Al Hijjah, visualized Beit Al Maqdas, and described its signs. Some of them said, How many doors are there yes. in that mosque? I had not counted them, so I began to look at it and counted them one by one yeah. and gave them information concerning them. Yeah. Okay. What doors were he counted if it didn't exist? Oh. It did exist. What existed? <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm asking to explain. So what exactly existed? What do you believe existed? Okay, so the masjid existed, the gates to Jerusalem existed, okay? Right. That existed, uh, yes. Right. So gates, what, so what, so do gates saying, what do so gates consist of, okay? So listen. So you're saying he described the destroyed temples then? You're saying the gates no. are No, this is the thing. We make a distinction between Masjid Al-Aqsa, what the Jews had on Temple Mount, the temple, the second temple is not Masjid Al-Aqsa. Because how do we know this? Because when um, so, let me no, 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 no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What is that? He already explained it to you before. Jerusalem. Okay. So he's. So I'm saying the gates of Jerusalem. He's describing the gates of this door the gate, of Jerusalem. Look, the gates to Jerusalem existed at the time. We know this because the gates to look the gate. Yeah, but I'm saying, look, they said in that mosque. No, 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 no. So are we saying Jerusalem is a mosque? Give me, look, first and foremost, I'm, I'm not worried about your notes, okay? Yeah, this is, a, I can give, I've got the actual archive. Okay. Uh, Ibn Sa I just put the notes. Baba Qad Ibn Sa'id, okay, yeah. yeah. I know this source, okay? Right. I so, know it very so well because I'm I actually the, go through it. Yeah, but let me just... Actually, I actually go through it, it says, refuting it you. Said, how many doors are there in that mosque? So okay. if it's Jerusalem, are we saying... Jerusalem okay, so Baitul Ma... And no, if it's not no. A specific building, that's okay, so listen, afraid. listen, listen. First and foremost, right. okay. We have to understand that the second temple is not the Temple of Solomon. Okay. We, we when we talk about Mr. Al Aqsa, we are referring to the Temple of Solomon. Okay. The second temple was a construction of the Jews because they went to the uh, to what's his name. No problem. Uh, what's his name again? What was the king? Um, Cyrus the Great. Okay, and they went to him and gave him some updated plans. 
to build the second temple. They made it much grander than it actually was. Okay, so that's not what we're referring to. So what you're referring to that, that was, was destroyed, destroyed in 70 AD. Yes. That was the second temple. So then I'm asking not the mosque. Okay, so the mosque, the mosque is what the Muslims pray in today. Okay, in the on the eastern side of Jer on the eastern side of Temple Mount. And that existed that is, at the time. That existed the at the time. Look at the look at the building. It's ancient. Okay. So who built the mosque? That was the mosque built by King Solomon. What well, remained of it? What well, remains of the of that temple? Okay. You're so you don't know your history, man. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying <laughs> this is why I'm getting confused. I know you are. You said the Jews went to Herod. Um, Cyrus, Not Herod, Cyrus. To, to build the second temple. Yes. You said that. This location isn't the second temple. No, not not the location. The structure that was built by Cyrus the Great. Right. Okay. That structure is not the Temple of Solomon. That so is what. what is okay. That is simply the temple that the Jews asked to be constructed. They went to they went to Cyrus the Great, gave him some plans, and so said, "Build temple, this for us." Yes, okay. So Solomon was before then. I, so how? So that's I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So the temple of Solomon was uh, the, the original destroyed. structure that was destroyed. Okay. Right. So the second temple, we don't care about the second temple because what Rasulullah ﷺ did, he didn't travel to the second temple. He traveled to uh, the uh, Masjid al-Haram. So what was there? What physical structure was there that the doors he counted? What mosque was there? You're asking there? me, look. Because this is where the contention is. You're saying the second temple isn't the temple that the Jews built. It's, that's something else. That's something so else. I'm saying it refers to. The okay. Him about so a we are talking about the structure so that was. On, we are talking is about the structure. structure. Is we are talking about the structure that right. was on the eastern side of Temple Mount. That is Masjid Al Aqsa. What is Okay. That? Built by who? Because it seems like that you was had the that was the of that was the remnants of what was built by King Solomon. Yeah, the Prophet Sulaiman salam. That is what was there, okay? So he was describing Bet al Maqdis, okay? And he was describing Masjid al Aqsa, okay? So he described both. He's and he's describing what he saw, okay? And the thing is. It sounds like a Taoist No, it's I'll not. It's, why. Why. it's not. It's not. Because, because no, no, no. The Jews re recognize the second temple as a legitimate temple. You're trying to say. I don't care what they recognize. You're, you're, you're talking you about. from our, No, you're we're not saying, trying to well, get around this it. This isn't actually. The real deal. There's another. The Jews don't claim the, the, the Jews remnant. don't claim the second temple that to be the king. No, 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 no. That's what I'm no, 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 no. Don't be disingenuous here because the, right. the Jews don't claim the second temple to be the temple of Solomon. They don't claim that. Jazakallah <laughs> khairun. They don't claim that. You know that they don't claim the second temple. They do not. I'm not. Because I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you. What, yeah, what I'm saying to you is that the temple of uh, the second temple is not the temple of Solomon. The Jews don't claim the second temple to be the temple. They don't claim that. Okay, so um, just to wrap up, the Quraysh, in that very narration in uh, Tabakat ibn Sa'd, the, those who knew about Jerusalem, those of Quraysh who traveled to Jerusalem and, and know what it looks like, they tested him on specific aspects. How would they know? Okay, because they traveled. Okay? Okay. That's so, an assumption. No. How would they test him on something they don't know about? They're just asking him what no, it looks like. They asked, they, they would, uh, how, okay, they asked him that in order to verify what he's telling them. So they would have to have information on that. Either they travel themselves or they know people that have traveled there. Okay? Or so, they just know, are aware that what? there was a temple but not realize that. No, they wouldn't be asking about specific things. Okay? So as the Rasulullah Sallam said, they asked me about the things and I've told them about the things so that they have asked about. So they would okay? know how many doors specifically, so he got that right. Because you're saying they're from the... Yeah, those... They asked him, the, they had seen a destroyed temple, knew they, how many they, doors they They, they know... Mm. Yeah, those of them who would have known about Jerusalem and, and they've seen, either seen or heard about the, uh, the doors and how many, uh, the gates and whatnot, they, they would have had to have some sort of knowledge to test the Prophet, peace be upon him, on. And it, remember, to, this to, is wait, in addition to people saying wait, his body never went wait, anywhere. No. But I'm saying, I'm saying holistically. No, holistically. I'm saying, holistically, I'm saying holistically, the Muslims at the time had a difference of opinion. Okay? At the time. Some said that he traveled right. in his, in his uh, by soul yeah, only. That's why and some that's even this compounds is not, the point. No, it doesn't compound the point. This, if it was the point is, why would there be a The point, no. They're trying to figure out from it. No. So the scholars are trying to come I mean, do you not understand that that doesn't make him a liar? So, for example, right, a difference of opinion among people doesn't make the claimant a liar. I'm saying the Does, No, do you understand that principle? No, I'm saying. Do you understand the principle? Now, let me respond. I'm saying the reason I'm asking you, come on, man. I understand the. 
Do you understand the principle? No, it's not a flaw. Like, for example, I could say to you. No, 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 no. No, you can't say it's flawed. You can't say it's flawed. If it was based on the lie, then the scholars have to reconcile how these different elements of this thing happen. No. So if that's why I said, for example, can we test the claim of the temple existing? He'll say, well, there was the structure, some doors left. They describe it as a mosque. Then it's even people saying they never, there was no witnesses to it. So I'm saying this, the evidence as a whole seems to align with a lie that not even one person told his body leaves. Whoa! Well, there are people that there are people that said that he. There were many that said that he he did he did leave bodily. We will wrap up. So I'm saying. From what I've seen, there's no evidence that the two evidences that I showed you don't agree or they don't substantiate that they saw or that they believe or no, they that they witnessed that his body was gone. So then it becomes a subjective area. So the scholars are trying to reconcile. The Quran says he went to the Fervis Mosque. How do we reconcile that? Was it bodily or was it not bodily? But because of the hadith and the text, they you have a disagreement with the scholars. So you're going to give me an explanation, but I'm saying for them to conclude, it's like Christians saying, oh, Jesus was crucified. That you know he wasn't crucified. There was no disagreement because people... Well, actually, there was a disagreement. There was disagreement. I'll let you respond afterwards. But okay. when there's clear-cut miracles, there's not going to be a disagreement. Jews do not disagree about what they saw about God when Moses went up. They don't disagree. Oh, the Red Sea was open. No, it wasn't open. Because all the same witnesses corroborate the same thing. So that's why it seems to me, in my understanding, there's a disagreement because there's conflicting evidences. Okay. Which means people say right. Okay. Sides of the well, this is the, this is this is where you have the problem. If there are no witnesses to the event, then by default you're going to have a difference of opinion. That doesn't make the claimant. Yeah, go on, yeah. That doesn't make the claimant a liar. You have to I prove. I agree, right. That's okay. In the no, 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 no. No, but notice in the narration when the, the those who challenged him on this claim, when after he described it, they didn't they didn't say to him you're lying. They didn't attribute this as a this claim as a lie to him. Right? And these are, we're talking about the enemies of Islam. So those who disbelieved in the Prophet, peace be upon him, did not attribute a lie to him when he described, it, uh, uh, described uh, what he saw. That's the first thing, right? Which actually is evidence for the Prophet, peace be upon him, that he was truthful in what he saw and what he experienced. So do you wanna, Secondly... Wait, do you want to do a wrap up and I'll do a wrap up after this or can I make a point and then you close? No, no, we'll wrap up, but I'm, say, I'm just responding because you yeah, will no, allow me to respond. Like, and then we can just we can just uh, summarize to the cameras. Say, it's not a problem. You're saying it doesn't rise up. To yeah, hmm? exactly. It doesn't prove that the Prophet, peace be upon him, is a liar, That's okay? Strong. Or even lie. I'm going to bring that claim. Well, you in could my, say, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't instead, run too fast because yeah, yeah. I, I've got, in okay. my conclusion, you that, you'll see my all primary I'm point. Is, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a, of course, there's yeah, a high yeah. bar yeah, yeah, yeah. to claim that this is proof right? yeah. that he's alive. I don't no, know, and I'm going to give you a bar. Yeah. When I, when I, when Secondly, different yeah. accounts, yeah, different opinions. Habibi, 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 let me finish. Subjective. Habibi, right? let me finish, let me finish. No let me finish, yeah, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish. Right. But that doesn't really rise to the point of proof yeah, of no lie. That's right. I'm just presenting my case. And I'll, I gave you don't, my, okay. First, uh, firstly, you don't, first firstly, you don't have a, crew, a, a case in the first place because you already admitted right. that the claimant, because a difference of opinion, doesn't necessitate that the claimant is a liar. That's the first thing. You've already admitted that. So for you to try and conclude that he was lying, doesn't make sense. A but different. No, you don't. You you know how you all you gave are evidences of a difference of opinion. That's all you gave. I you have given. You've no given. Temples. You know. No. no, 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 no. You don't even know what the mosque is. You yourself said exactly. you were confused. That's what I'm for the right. Of what I, the I'm like, was. Okay. And I gave you the evidence. I told you the location of where it was. Okay. I gave you the distinction between the temple. What the what the Jews refer to as the second temple because you didn't know. All right, what was being no, referred to? I've heard this argument before because they're saying because it wasn't well, built if you're by him, so therefore it's not the second temple. The reason why Jews cry at the Wailing Wall is because that is part of the second compound that was built. Yeah, okay, so... so they do recognize it as the... No, they don't recognize it as the Temple of Solomon. They don't. It's part of the same structure. No, it's, it's not. Semantics, it's the, no, it's not semantics. It's a completely different structure. Okay. The Wailing Wall is part of a structure that was, built, well, that was built by Cyrus the Great. It was not built by King Solomon. Okay, so let's make that distinction. All right, so what you're referring to is not what is being referred to in the sources. So hence your, your the, the conflation there. 
So you actually have no grounds to suggest that the Prophet ﷺ said uh, was lying. And if anything, as mentioned to you, once he was questioned by the disbelievers, the disbelievers did not attribute his claim to be a lie. That in of itself is evidence that he was truthful about what he said. Oh, okay. okay. Now I'm going to... Yes, I'm I'm make, a, make, a, make a conclusion with and, the cameras. And I want these guys to hear as well. well they will, they will hear. You're just, going back to your original point doesn't matter. Right, because this all started off as well with my original claim that Muhammad lies about being illiterate. So I'll go to the hadith and I'm going to summarise all my points together. No, you can do that for the camera. I don't need to listen to that. All right, cool. So no, because he, he's, just, he's just going to go back on everything he failed no, no, on. I'm just going to give a summary. Oh, so that's you fine. You can do that. So I'll, I'll, I'll this, do that. What would you call it? Because he said Muhammad. Where are the Muhammad Where are the brothers? That he was a liar. So I said he was a liar. Ya ikhwa. Because Muslims claim that he was illiterate. So I then went to a hadith that said Ibn Abbas said when Allah's messenger was on his deathbed and there were some men in the house, he said, come near, I will write for you something after which you will not go astray. Some of them ben, said, where are the, where are the camera boys? Are we halas or finished? And you have the holy Quran and No, I see, I'm done. So, so I'm like, in the house, I you I don't know no, no, but where are they? Because I want to give back the, I want to give back the uh, microphone. Write for you something which after you will not go astray. Or others said, the other way around, so their talk and differences increased. And as the apostle got up, Ibn Abbas used to say, no doubt, it was very unfortunate that Allah's messenger was prevented from writing for them that writing. So my question was, if Muhammad is truthful, when he said he could write, was he lying or was he telling the truth? <coughs> so it's either he could write at that moment, which then disproves the point that he was illiterate, or he couldn't write and he was lying. It's one of the two options. <coughs> he also said that the uh, Sahaba, because he was ill, they said bring him a scribe. And I just didn't read, I read from a different hadith, which actually says something different, because it says give him writing material so that he may write for you something after which you may not go astray, which I didn't read in the original hadith, which gives. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. But you wouldn't. It's the they same didn't thing. Say bring a scribe. So they can, so you can dictate, so you can write. If they don't down. need to say it like that. Like I they said, the Arab, the Arabic, the language so, of the Arabs so at the time. Again, this I is how they me, spoke. When he said, "Give me something to write," was he lying or was he telling the truth? Was he, was he telling the truth that he could write something down that they would not go astray, or was he lying that he could write them something that they wouldn't go astray? He could be implying that I can have something. So why did they disagree? Because it's my next point. Why did they not give it to him? Yeah, and disagree. Okay, there's a big discussion point about that. I'm actually a Shia, so we have our own interpretation of which, why that happened. Which is what? Which is that they didn't want him to write down who his successor okay, would be. No problem. But so they wouldn't know. But to be honest, they wouldn't know. Oh, yeah, I'm done, yeah, I'm done.